Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2023 Penguin Magic Two. Awards. Let's not go next year already. Not, not going next 2022. year 2022. Not 23. 23? No, I know 22. it's 23, but we're talking about last year's magic. Oh, we're talking about last year's yeah, magic. Yeah, right. Unless you have a crystal ball that can tell us all about the releases <laughs> for this year. But no, let's, let's, go, let's go last year. Okay, all right. I'm going to go with last yeah, year. Yeah, why not? Why not? I think it's, it all sounds good here. So we got, we got a bunch of people. I can see the chat in here. So we can see the chat right here. Yeah. We, we've got some, some wonderful people listening to uh -huh. you. And uh, we're going to monitor you. But 2022, it is. I'm very excited because this year's prop nominees is amazing. Yeah. We, um, so we're going to be putting on the Penguin Magic Awards later this month. Yes. January 27th, yes. If, uh, if my memory serves me correct. And uh, so, but we have some business to get to before then. Some business together. Well, we already did a lot of work. We put together all the nominees for some of the best magic, or the best magic, of 2022. Uh, we'll tell you more about how we come up with all the nominees and all that stuff uh, throughout this whole thing. Uh, but today, we have the uh, exciting uh, job to announce who the nominees are in our seven categories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories. Uh, so that's very cool. It's that's very cool because, and, and you know, yeah. one of the things that you might not realize is nobody knows. The only no. people that know are me and you and and I think Josh. Josh and, knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like so, it's, it's pretty exciting. exciting. Yeah, it's fun because yeah. I know I know there's some people on here on this list that are gonna I think be very very excited. I think so too. Just like because I know we're gonna get to these and especially like the later ones like Inventor of the Year and Lecture of the Year are some of the big awards and I think there's some surprises on these lists. Yeah, people no. are gonna be. So we're excited about like, but you know, I, I see a few names in here that I recognize from years past, but also some uh, some brand new names that yeah. never appeared before. Let's uh, take a look at the chat right here. We got Magic Alon has joined us. Uh, oh, also, see Patrick Talsama. Tal uh, Does Alon know that this stream is probably only going to be about two to three hours? So yes, I, uh, we're not going to go for thirteen <laughs> hours straight this time. We promise. Yeah. Um, the other thing I would mention is we're not giving out awards here. These are all just the nominees. Yes, at, that's the, it. at the end of this stream, there will be a link. Uh, you can go check it out on Instagram. I believe we're going to throw it in the chat below. But yep. you will be able to vote because it's you that determines who wins these awards. Right. And so that link is going to go live at the very end of this stream. So you can shout out to all of your friends. You can start the vote. You can uh, start campaigning for your favorite tricks, your favorite performers. Uh, it's, it's very exciting. And I think we're even going to do some giveaways. We're doing well. giveaways all day. Giveaways. Which, uh, all I remember I used to have to fight for giveaways around yeah. here. Like, we got to give something away. Now, they were like, like here's, too a many giveaways. here's a pile of stuff. Nick, how do the giveaways work? So, we're going to be doing a giveaway for each category here. And we're going to be starting right off the rip here with um, when we get to the deck of the year, which is going to be our first category mm -hmm. in a second. But we're going to be giving away the vanishing card. And uh, you're going to have kind of a short period of time to, to enter for these yeah. giveaways. We have one, two, three, four, five five, six giveaways today. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll be doing one as we announce each category. And so the first one's for the Vanishing Card. And in order to enter, you have to head over to Instagram. Yep. You have to follow us on Instagram. And you have to tell us what your favorite deck of the year was on that post, it's pinned. Yeah, it's pinned right there, so you should be able to see it. So go there. It just says giveaway, vanishing card. Just post on there what your favorite deck of cards is. That's uh, man. That's it's gonna be hard to choose from. There were some killer decks. Well, I guess any deck will do. So just get a comment in there. Just get a comment <laughs> in there, and then uh, we will be told from the powers that be who uh, the winner is. And uh, yeah. That'll, that'll be it. The giveaways are exciting. Well, yep. uh, we got a lot of people in the chat here. 90 Day uh, joining us. Patrick Talma uh, joining us again. Uh, we, got about, uh, we got a few people watching, but I think this is going to uh, this is going to grow as it is. I see the magic of Conrad. Let us know uh, how, you're, how you're enjoying the nominations. If you enjoyed the, uh, the award show last year, we're looking to make it even bigger this year. Man, I can't wait to do this. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's becoming more of a thing every year. We should get started. Which is good. Uh, yeah, get to it. Because otherwise we'll be here for... 13 hours. Well, we have a fantastic tech person who's manning the booth right now. And if you could please let us know the nominees for Deck of the Year right now. Bioluminescent. I guess we can talk through these. We can't, yeah, we, we don't. Have to be we didn't silent. do the, uh, the the Harry Potter deck. Like yeah. Harry Eleven. Butterflies for Ukraine. No, this deck. 
continuum. We were going to double you in that one. There they are. I'm super excited to see this one because we got uh, we got a lot of really cool decks in there, mm -hmm. and uh, we got some decks that are, are that are ours and other people's. I mean, yeah. it's just it really is one of those because I don't know if you know how we put this together, but you know we collate all the data from the year, and the nominations are based on uh, overall sales, uh, buzz on the internet, and artistic merit. Yeah, and kind of like release date as yeah. well, right? Yeah. So because uh, like you can have other decks from other years, yeah. like, in the top 10 in sales, oh. you know, like, like our elites and, like, all that type of stuff, they're yeah. always in the, in the like, the high up in the, in the yeah. sales data. But, um, yeah, these, these decks were all released in 2022. Let's, and let's start with the butterflies for Ukraine. Yeah, let's talk about the butterflies for Ukraine. So these were created by uh, Andrei Pichnika, uh, and, and his, I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it. you're right, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, there's Andre right there. And actually, I did a really fun interview with uh, Andre uh, on the Penguin Magic podcast. So it's a few episodes back. If you just go to podcast.penguinmagic.com, you can actually listen to the entire interview where he talks about wanting to do this because of all of the troubles that are going on in Ukraine right now, and he is very close to there and he really feels for those people. He wanted to make sure that he was able to raise some money. And so this is one of the few, is one of the only butterfly decks he's ever created that's not marked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wanted to make sure that this was available to everybody. It's I mean, a very cool deck of cards, and mm -hmm. I'm glad that uh, we were able, it was awesome to work with him. Oh, yeah. You know, it's one of those guys that we've wanted to work with for, for quite a while. He's a super cool dude. And the deck is awesome. Yeah. Um, I have a pack of these as well. Yeah. I was like, do I open them? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I did. I was shuffling these for quite yeah. a while. Great deck of cards, and if you're not familiar with the regular butterflies, they are an edge mark deck, yeah. um, which is a very, very cool thing. Uh, so yeah, butterfly deck for Ukraine is uh, the deck number one for deck of the year. Let's uh, take a look at the next one, which is Continuum. Uh, this is a deck that I took to Fism. This is a beautiful deck of cards. They're uh, burgundy. They're uh, this like nice deep burgundy color with these really custom faces. That cool infinity design on the back. Uh, the tuck box is printed on the inside <laughs> and out. These cards are really awesome. I actually chose these specifically for competition to take to Fism. I went to Kevin Raylek. Yep. Big shout out to Kevin who does all of our deck of cards and sort of manages that whole process and I said Kevin show me all the cards that are coming out this year I want to pick one that I can take to FISM and this is the one I chose uh, it's a it's a really really fun deck it handles beautifully uh, it the I believe it's on the uh, Aquaflow coding yeah the um, so it's called the uh, the Ultra Lux and Aquaflow coding the mm -hmm. Ultra Lux is the stock and yeah. the Aquaflow is the the, well, the coding on how they um, yeah. they slide together all almost all of our custom decks have that at this yeah. point although what was the newest one there that had like the extra tiny stock oh uh xt was it the xt stock that was the winter uh star playing oh yeah cards the, yeah the winter winters. star playing cards yeah no and actually i knew the xt was coming out and i still wanted the uh the ultra lux stock and the aqua flow coating because of the way it handles and uh, there's the trophy right there oh yeah <laughs> it made a little uh made a little appearance uh so yeah the continuum deck yeah. one of the one of the nicest decks i think we did this year yeah. uh, for sure yeah absolutely um That's just a reminder that there is a giveaway i guess yep. we have to do this constantly just so we uh, make sure that we get entries no, we're out of practice on the live stream, but yeah. maybe maybe we'll get back into practice in the next few weeks. Head on over to our Instagram, follow us on Instagram, and tell us what your favorite deck of card is on the Win the Vanishing Card post right there, okay? <laughs> yeah, Win the Vanishing Card by Nicholas Lawrence. You can have a chance to win the Vanishing Card, uh, one of the top tricks of this year. Yeah, it's an incredible trick. So and we're going to talk about it a little bit later, but let's <clears> take a look at the, the other another deck that's been nominated, the Bioluminescent deck. Uh, which is, I, I'm <laughs> over the moon about this deck because A, it is uh, UV reactive. Which it's is a funny really one. Cool. Uh, it's, it features Creatures of the Deep, which I'm super excited about. This is a lot of fun. And is this the one that's also a stripper deck? <sighs> yeah. Was, was yeah. it like unintentionally stripper? Uh, no, no. That was <laughs> no. totally something we did no. for I can't is, remember. I know. You know what? I think it was intended to be a stripper deck, okay. and, but no one told us. And oh, so yeah. we got it. And yeah, we were that's like, what it was. We were throwing flags up everywhere. I was we were like, like, why hey, is this? Why is it this doing thing's this? cut awfully, yeah. you know, but no, it was actually... No, it's actually, it's factory, it's also a factory cut stripper deck, which mm. is really fun. Very subtle yeah. um, as well. well, but yeah, this thing glows in the dark. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's, it's, it's on the same stock as all of our other decks. Yeah. 
Just like Continuum? But all the artwork is is inspired by creatures of the deep. So you're seeing like the anchor fish or the, the angler fish there. There's like some deep sea jellies and some like weird like uh, uh, theropods and all kinds of stuff from the deep. It's awesome. Custom artwork on the front and the back. Really, really cool. Yeah, deck. it's a very, very fun deck of cards um, and different. It will go, see, see it glows in the dark yep. there. It's I very like cool. That. The box, I think, does as well. Yep. So, um, yeah, uh, it'd be a great little gift for somebody. Mm -hmm. So, Bioluminescent, it was popular. A lot of people yep. bought that one. Let's take a look at a deck of cards that actually we didn't make. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the Harry Potter deck from Theory 11. This is really cool. Now, we actually don't, we don't have, I don't think we have any. No, no, there was no video for Harry. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I know that I have a deck of these. Uh, I know you have a deck of these. We've been, we've been having a lot of fun with them. But these are, these were great gifts. Um, these are one of the more beautiful uh, sort of branded or uh, uh, licensed decks that I think Theory 11 Yeah, made. I think this, this came out of, like around Christmas time mm -hmm. last year. I think we didn't have it on Penguin until mm -hmm. just a little bit after that. Um, but yeah, they had all, the, so there's the Gryffindor, mm -hmm. there's Slytherin, I think there's yeah, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. I think there's four. Yeah. I think there's four. All the characters in the movie are in there. The backs yeah. feature uh, Hogwarts. There's custom, there's custom artwork all over the place on it. It's a beautiful deck. Handles beautifully. Yeah, I mean, if you've picked up any of those Theory 11 decks, they're, they're all amazing. They're so good. Um, they do. And uh, this one... Man, if if you are a magician, like these were yeah. my gift. Like I gave away a lot of these yeah. as gifts uh, over Christmas last year. So uh, this was a great deck of cards. And um, I mean, if you haven't picked up a theory, I don't know, I don't know yeah. why you're watching this if you haven't held on to these types of decks yet. But they're awesome. Let's so. take a look at the last nominee, uh, another one from uh, P3. This is the Gliderback version two. These made their debut at Magic Live. These are a really pretty deck of cards that is actually marked. Uh, so it's marked for value and suit uh, in there. There's a, a really interesting uh, marking system that you do have to kind of decode. It's not a reader system where it's very apparent to you. But one of the cool things about this is that it almost but not quite stands up to the ripple test. It like does, basically. Because yeah. if you don't know what you're looking for, mm -hmm. I don't know that you can... I don't think you can see it. It's really subtle. like look, it's right there. Yeah. I mean, on the video there, there is something that you can see, but man, it, it is subtle. Yeah, I'm actually try remembering exactly <laughs> what the reading yeah. system is now, and well, I can like kind of catch it. And it's one of those that almost is easier to read from a distance. Yeah. I wouldn't call this like a distance reader by no. any means, but like the more kind of distance you give your eyes from it, the easier it is to see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a um, it's a great mark deck. And um, this is one that Kevin Raylick was very excited about as well. It's it's so it's a it's a it's the follow up to the original version, the glider back. Uh, which won the first year? I it believe. did. It won, well, won last year. L last year. Yeah, okay. 2021 glider back was the uh, deck of the year. So this is the second version of it, and. Uh, the, the, the uh, is the design different? The box is different, but the the design is slightly different. Okay, I believe. but the reader the the marking system is it's the, about same. the same. So if yeah. you were like over the moon about the original uh, glider back marking system, it is the same. So you'd be able to learn it. But it was a lot of fun, like handing the deck to people at Magic Live and being like, "These are marks. Tell tell me where the marks are." And they do the riffle test. Where you, like, yeah. If you don't know about the riffle test, some people call it going to the movies with the most marked decks. If you riffle through it, it'll sort of jump around. Uh, you can see something there, but it's really cool. Uh, but a, a, a fantastic marked deck. And uh, I think uh, that is going to bring us to the end of it. Oh, we got uh, some people in the chat here popping in. Redstone Golem saying hi. Bob Rosansky saying, love this deck. The Glider V2 bought a brick at Magic Yeah, Live. I, I, I think they might not be on the... I think they're on like a regular type stock. I remember them being a little yeah, thicker. they were a little thicker. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Which is rare for us these days. We always have like... Some pretty crushed stock decks. Yep. And then Darrow sixty six, uh, give me the heart eyes emoji <laughs> over Continuum. So. Mm. Yeah, they are. That's that's a nice deck of cards. If Continuum wins, do I know I didn't design the deck, but do I get the trophy? No, it's been a while since I, don't I think won so. a trophy. Yeah, are there trophies? There might be trophies this year. Who knows? Who Maybe knows? Trophies. There might be. Um, so yeah, that is the. Um, did you put the 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 six? things in there? I did not. Okay, that's fine. No. Um, so we have the Butterflies for Ukraine, mm -hmm. Continuum, Bioluminescent, Harry Potter, and the Gliderback V2 uh, decks of cards, all up for deck of the year. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, which one are you voting for? I'm voting, I already know. I'm I voting for know. Continuum. I, I love know. Continuum. I've known about most of these decks coming out, and I picked <laughs> Continuum a long time ago. I'm in love with the court cards on Continuum, and I mean the aces are cool, but I just I've fallen in love with the court yeah, cards. Yeah, I'm pro I might vote for Continuum as well, but I kind of like the butterflies. Yeah. As well. Oh man, you're gonna guilt me into. I love the butterflies <laughs> too. Uh, so just uh, last call yeah. for the vanishing card. If you head on over to Instagram. 
follow us on Pe at Penguin Magic on Instagram. And there's a post right at the top that says giveaway, win the vanishing card by Nicholas Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, one of you will be randomly chosen to uh, win the vanishing card, which is happening now, I believe. <laughs> and let me check and see if the next one is up there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see for that from for Josh. Josh, post another um, giveaway <laughs> video so that I can announce the next one. Because uh, the next giveaway we're going to be doing is for Sticker Kicker. Ooh, Sticker Kicker is a good one. And uh, speaking of good ones, let's get into the next category, which is the Partner Trick of the Year. Mm -hmm. and our wonderful and fantastic tech person, can you please reveal the nominees? This is an exciting one because these are uh, these are products that are put out by uh, they're self-produced. Yeah, they're self-produced. The Semi-automatic weapons by Danny Darren. We have abandoned by our guy, Dr. Cyril Thomas. Third year in a row with a nomination. Crazy Man's Split by Henry Harris. I still know that. <laughs> Billets for the Modern Mind Reader by Julian Rosa. I if I'm saying that correctly. The Expression Test by our other guy, Eric Casey. E R I K. Sudden Box by Heavy Tones. There they are. Is for partner trick of the year. This is a really unique category because every one of these products was self-produced by the people in that category. So semi-automatic weapons project by Danny Ortiz. He created a new download every month. Henry Harrius, obviously well known for creating his own stuff. Dr. Cyril Thomas, always pre creating cool rubber band stuff. Eric Casey, getting back into the creation game. <laughs> and then we've got a couple of new people here. Uh, Bobby Tones and uh, Julian Losa, who uh, I was really impressed by the material that they put out there. Yeah, so the partner program is awesome because it's like, it's it's everybody that is yeah. in there. Everybody from Danny Ortiz to, you know, somebody that's just getting into magic. You can find it on, on Penguin Magic. There's a little button that says, want to hatch a yeah. next great idea. I think it's underneath the um, the best sellers on the right-hand side or the left. Sometimes it moves. It's got a little chicken coming out of an egg or something yeah. on the picture there. I'm actually here right now sitting in this chair because of the partner program. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I submitted stuff through the partner program. Penguin picked it up. I also produced my own products and put them out through Penguin. So, you know, it's so just... yeah, this is one of my favorite categories because yeah. we just get to look at stuff that is... Um, you know, I kind of underground, but these things were the best selling stuff yeah. from the partner program, essentially from last year. And again, but they were also released last year yeah. as well. Why don't we uh, update so let's the start. Instagram? See well, maybe with the. Uh... I'm haven't seen anything. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. We're wind yeah. sticker kicker. So head on over to Instagram, and uh, so vanishing card giveaway now closed. Okay. Kaput. But now, right next to it, if you just head on over to, oh, we have a winner as well. Oh, we do. I actually see it right now. Okay. Why don't you uh, announce the uh, the winner there? Uh, so, Rosansky Rosansky at Lori Ozansky has won Vanishing Card. Congratulations. Go ahead and reach out to uh, the Penguin Magic Instagram page. Just send him a message. You'll, uh, you'll get connected with Josh and he will arrange to get our giveaway to you. That's right. We just gave away a Vanishing Card. I can't believe we gave away a Now we're going to give away a sticker kicker, which is uh, one of my favorite tricks from last year. Yeah. And to do that, you just have to head on over to Instagram, follow us at Penguin Magic, mm -hmm. and uh, what are we going to tell them to um, to uh, leave? What do you think? Uh, oh, uh, w uh, there's not a... Uh, do we have a no, it's up no, to you. It's up to us. It's up to us. What should... What, um, tell us your... Um, what's like a sticker thing they get? Sticker give? thing? Uh, um, tell us your... Uh, Hit, with, hit us with your favorite emoji mm. in, in the comments. Your mm. favorite emoji, your favorite favorite family-friendly emoji mm -hmm. in the uh, the comments section. Okay, there. that's so, all you got to do. And yeah. then you're entered to win uh, Sticker Kicker yeah. by Jamie Williams, which we will be giving away after we talk about these partner tricks. Yeah, you got to make sure to follow us uh, at Penguin Magic Shop on Instagram. Put your favorite uh, family-friendly emoji in there, and uh, we will let you know the winner uh, when we announce the lecture of the... Or are we going to do a lecture or download? We'll, we'll we're come doing, back to it later. Yeah, right, right after we're done talking with partner, yep. we'll give away a sticker kick. Josh says you got to leave a like. Oh, so. you got to leave a like as yeah. well. Oh, that's me. Nope, that's you. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about these partner tricks. It's so much fun because, um, like, the deck of the year is cool, but now yeah. we're talking about actual people. Yeah. So it's even it's even cooler. Let's let's get into the first one uh, from Danny Dertiz. Let's talk about semi-automatic weapons project. <laughs> this is this is insane. So 
Uh, Danny Dertiz did a series last year that was, or, or two years ago, that was the ACAM project. ACAM project, project where yeah. he, he basically, every month, you got a different principle around the any card, any number, and a new trick. This year, he followed it up with the semi-automatic weapons project. This time, it's, it's, it's not self-working. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a slight or a principle that's involved, uh, but it's usually, but it's semi-automatic tricks uh, look very, very hands-off. It's really, really wild stuff. And every month you get a different, what he calls, pillar, uh, and then you learn a different trick and a different technique. And there's some that are deeply, deeply fooling things. If you watch any of these performances, mm -hmm. I don't know how you know how any of this stuff works. No, like, no. I mean, he's Danny. Um, I think my my favorite one I saw was like uh, a stupid magical thing mm -hmm. or the stupidest magic thing or yeah. a quick stupid magic thing. Yeah. I can't remember the exact name of it, but that should clue you in. And yeah. you just watch it. You're like, you're just getting beat over the head mm -hmm. one after another, after yeah. another, after another, because there's just no way to know how any of it works. Um, you can watch like full routine performances of these things like right in the demo. So yeah. if, you, if you go over there. But this guy came up with 12 different ridiculous it's routines. more than that because yeah. oftentimes in these projects, he's, he's, mm -hmm. he's teaching two or three tricks sometimes. Yeah. It, it's a gold mine of great stuff for you to check out. <laughs> and also reach back to the ACAN project as yeah. well. Like if you're, if you're looking at Danny's stuff, I know we're talking about semi-automatic weapons here, which is like a pretty beast of a name too. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, the ACAM project also like finished up in 2022, yeah. which because we'll be talking about it a little bit later. I didn't know how to place it because it's like mm -hmm. it was the complete thing ended up in yep. 2022, started in 2021. So, but anyway, that's still an absurd amount of material mm -hmm. to put out. Um, so, congrats to Danny for the nomination and uh, for all all of your hard work. Yeah, let's uh, let's move on and talk about uh, a guy who is no stranger to a Penguin Magic Award nomination. Let's mm. talk Abandon by Dr. Cyril Thomas. I think Dr. Cyril Thomas is the leader in um, on the leaderboard. Yeah, well, he's got, he won this category the last two years. Yeah. He won last year for, um, do I have it written down? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Breaking Band last year, mm -hmm. and then in 2022, or sorry, 2020, uh, Faith Hacker. Mm -hmm. So this is his category. Uh, and Abandon, yeah. he had two releases this year uh, in this category, but Abandon was the, um, well, it was close. It was yeah. close. So this is like, look, it's just banned through everything. Yeah. Um, whether you cut it or you pull it through. So look at this thing. Like the, the pen goes through four layers of rubber band. I, okay. I don't even know how that works. I don't know how that works. Uh, I yeah. love this visual here. Yeah. That looks so, so good. good. And um, this other one with the sit, so like, it, like he like breaks it and then restores it into yeah. the band, right? It's, I don't, yeah, I don't even, like this is another, this is sort of like Danny stuff where like you can watch this over and over again, yeah. you'll never know how it works. No, so there's four, you get the four different styles yeah. in this one download. And it's incredible. I mean, just just watch the demo and watch, read the quotes. And if you do for band magic, I mean, I'm sure you already probably bought this. Speak <laughs> of the devil, uh, Dr. Cyril Thomas is in the chat. Oh, he's right in here now. again. He's in the chat. No, he he clearly saw the notification go off of the nominations. Yep. He just came strolling in. He was like, where's my nomination? Yep, where's yep. my nomination? There he is. Well, uh, yeah, it is his, um, he's owned this category for yep. two years. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's a uh, congrats, Dr. Cyril, yep. once again. When is he coming to Columbus? I have no idea. When, we got to get him out here. We how do we? Yeah, I don't know why, how he hasn't been here yet. Uh, but one one day we'll yeah. we'll get him out here. Speaking of rubber band tricks, there's mm -hmm. another partner trick uh, with with rubber band stuff. This is another one that just took internet by storm. We're talking Crazy Man's Split by Henry Harrius. It's another another insane one. I mean, like the, I, the visuals this, yeah. on this are nuts. Come on. When I first saw this, I was, yeah. He's showing you front, back. Yeah, so it's, it's, what you get is this cool move that allows you to change one band into two, and then you can do your crazy man's handcuffs, mm -hmm. and then change the two bands back into one yeah. at the end. So, like, yeah, that one move is, like, this cool visual thing. You could, like, chop the rubber band in half, or you could, like, just do it like you saw at the beginning there. Mm -hmm. There it is with a knife. Yeah. But really, it's like an opener for Crazy Man's handcuffs, yeah. right? And look at that rubber band explosion the Rubber band here. explosion looks nuts, too. Yeah. And this is just... I mean, Henry Harrius is one of those... This cat creates some cool stuff. Yeah. And it, it, this is no exception to that. And I just... I love... When this came out, this took the internet by storm. Everyone was talking about this thing. Mm -hmm. And it's actually... Uh, from what I understand, and I've, I've seen behind the scenes on a little bit of it because there's a, there's a couple of guys around the, the studios that actually do Crazy Man Split. 
uh, shown it to me, and it's not terribly difficult either. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. No. Um, I, it, I'm, and this is like you can tell it's a walk around trick for him, and he does it all the time. So it's got to be very practical. I don't know how it works. I don't even want to know how it works. Yeah. It looks so good, and it's nice to see uh, Henry's face yeah. on on uh, on Penguin Magic here. Absolutely. So, uh, we're about halfway through, and because we are in the middle of a giveaway right now, we are giving away Sticker Kicker by Jamie Williams and Roddy McGee. Head on over to our Instagram. There is a uh, a post. It's one of the top ones. One right of the now. pinned posts up there. It says giveaway give, Sticker Kicker. Give it a like. Hit us uh, with your favorite emoji. Make sure to follow us. But if you hit it with a like and also put your favorite emoji in there, we are going uh, when we after we announce the next nominees, we're going to be giving away a copy of Sticker Kicker to somebody in the chat. So head on over there and get that taken care of. Yeah, it looks like we got some good. Okay, I was Ooh. making sure people were posting in there. It looks like we have. Speaking of which, we got uh, Craig Petty's Magic TV in the chat right now. Oh well, he, you know he should probably stick around. Uh, there's a know. lot of yeah. We'll we'll be know. saying Craig's name a few we'll times. We'll I think so. Will I think we be so. saying Craig's name, or yeah. will we call an audible and just? Uh, it's not even any joke about it. This is uh, this is Craig Petty's year to lose at this point. Is it really? I think so. I think so. I don't think we announce uh, Craig as a nominee until he gives, not yet until he gives us a nominee over on uh, Craig Petty's Magic. Table. <laughs> no. So um, this is uh, where where were we? We're oh, on Crazy Man Split. We were on Crazy Man Split, but let's move on to Billets for Modern Mind Readers by Julian Losa. This is really cool. Uh, I think this is fascinating. The thing because you you don't see a lot of stuff for billet workers out there let alone this is like one of a series <laughs> this is an incredible project yep. that um julian's been working on for several years now so there's four volumes of this mm -hmm. and th when we're nominating it here but like there's no telling there might be more yep. volumes in the future here mm -hmm. uh i believe three and four came out uh, end of 2021, 22, and then yeah. and then and then this most recent one came out this year, but um, it was in the perfect spot to give this a nomination because this is just like incredible work being self-published here. Yeah, and um, not only is it selling, but it's like it, it, I mean, it it's is one of the best partner tricks. Great reviews. Also because of camera work. I mean, look yeah. how great this work looks and um, the material as well. Uh, there's amazing stuff mm -hmm. in this project. Uh, just look at. Any of the trick lists on volume two, three, four, all of it's fantastic. He's teaching great anime stuff. He's mm -hmm. teaching, there's a trick in there. Um, uh, Fortune Tarot is something that I was looking at mm -hmm. uh, not that long ago. And it's all simple to do. And he just teaches you how to make a living yeah. with p paper and pencil. <laughs> like amazing switches, yeah. peaks, great practical pieces of mentalism that any of you can do. Um, and uh, I, I live performances, yeah. it, it's you couldn't ask for a better project. And it's, I mean, in my opinion, undervalued. Yeah. Um, the price on it is so, so affordable. Um, what a great project. Uh, and if you have any interest in, in mind reading, go support this and check it out because it is yeah. one of the best things over the last year, for sure. I'm super excited because it seems like there's more and more billet projects coming out because there's more and more people actually performing with uh, billet read, like billet divinations, billet reading, billet predictions. And I, I think that there's like, we're on the cusp of some really great work with billet work, like really breaking its way into the mainstream. Mm. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. This is awesome. This yeah. is a great project, and I was very excited that it made. Yeah. You know, there's some things that are so close yeah. to getting into the top six because each category has six things, mm -hmm. and then I was so happy that this was like, oh yeah, that is in this mm -hmm. year because um, it deserves some recognition. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's move on to uh, the next one, which is this one's no slouch, and I think I know <laughs> why this one got in there, but also. Well, yeah. It, it's uh, this was a very popular download this year, and yes. I think I think we may have had something to do with that a little bit, but it's all. Also a great trick. Yeah. This is the expression test by Eric Casey. I'm so excited about this trick. So Eric Casey, first of all, what a wild man. Uh, I was, I'm seeing if it if it, if it's still, is it still free or is it one dollar still? So Eric Casey, you definitely know who he is because he created Poker Test 2.0, which has been used by so many different people all over the place. <laughs> it is uh, it's just a few cents right now. <laughs> Penguin Magic, anybody can pick it up. Yeah, you can pick this up for less than a dollar on yeah, Penguin, right? For less now. than a dollar. Yep. It's, it's a it's a fantastic trick. I know we were talking about it a lot on the the Black Friday uh, stream. But this is essential. This is his uh, approach to the uh, the, bill, the, bill the bill trick. trick. So yeah, it's it's a great walk around mm -hmm. trick, and like any any deck, you know, it's it's yep. not a big deal. But it, it's really the the biddle trick with. So Eric had a problem with mm -hmm. Shudogawa's routine because mm -hmm. obviously, yeah. right? And Ryan Schlutz's routine. Why would he? Why would you trust anything? He, he to do? followed what those guys were doing, but mm -hmm. it was like 
both of these things, they, they're on the right path, but they're both kind of trash at yep. the same time. So he created the expression test, you know. <laughs> but look, I'm joking, yeah. but it's... Um, it, it's a, a, essentially a version of the Biddle trick where you don't have to like really put the deck in the mm -hmm. spectator's hand. You know how like yeah. the deck goes in their hands. You end up with like the four cards, but then the four cards change to match the card that they were just thinking of. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you end up with like a four of a kind at the end. Easy to do. Great instructions. Mm -hmm. And if you read the reviews on this, people love this trick. I mean, yeah. it's a great trick to know how to do. I mean, look, and he's doing it on the news. I mean, he's not just doing it like in, <laughs> yeah. in, in like coffee shops or bars or on the edge of buildings. He's doing it on well, TV. I look, mean, this is a great... It's a great, so, yeah. it's a great routine. I mean, it's a great handling of mm -hmm. the Biddle trick. And we all know how good trick that trick is. Oh, it's so good. We don't do it because we're all idiot magicians. <laughs> I mean, some of us do it, but like yeah. I, oh, the smart people do it. Yeah. I, I forget to do it all the time at this point, but it is one of the best card tricks you can do. Even laymen know it, and like it's still a great trick to do sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, um, get this trick. Yeah, it's less than a dollar, and it really was one of the the better uh, routines this year oh, yeah. on on uh, Penguin Magic. So. Absolutely. Let's move into the uh, the final nominee in the partner tricks of the year. This is Sudden Box by Ebby Tones. This trick's great. Yeah. Uh, what, what, I mean, so you have this card box, you can show it completely empty. It's cut yeah. with a big hole in there. You guys yeah. watch this video here. If you haven't seen this, check it's out the not, visual on this, right? And then you have them pick a card and they name whatever mm -hmm. card it is. And then you just drop it and the card appears in the box. Uh, this is like, tell me how that works. I have no idea. I mean, this looks like some sort of like <laughs> Nicholas <laughs> Lawrence style. Yeah. Like, look how good like looks. Look. So you like, you can like that. There's nothing in there. Right. Yeah. And then no. watch, we'll watch it one more time. And there's a card now in the box, and you can pour it out. Uh, That's ridiculous. It's absurd. Yeah. It's um, it's a really... Now, this is another one of those creators that's been creative stuff for mm -hmm. a long time. And um, hit something here. Yeah. This is... Um, a lot of people bought this. Mm -hmm. And the... It's, it's a... <laughs> It's got some DIY to it. Yeah, I would right? imagine when you look at this, like just knowing the price on it, I'm just I know that it's not going to come with a gimmick. Yeah, you're going to have to build it yourself. But the method's so kind of ingenious mm -hmm. that it like it. A lot of times with DIY, and I, I you know, we could talk about mm -hmm. the benefits of DIY tricks and yeah. this or that, but this one is one where it's like, man, that method is so ridiculous. I never would have thought. Like you're like you're almost buying it just to learn the method. And you you can make this, yeah. of course you can make it, but man, um, this is like another level of, some, of, of method. When you come across stuff like this, where there is DIY involved, but there's a lot of people who have bought it, done it, the reviews yep. are good on it, I feel like it's one of those things that you should add to your repertoire for a bit, just so that you can get comfortable <laughs> learning a new method of building things. There's, <sighs> there's all kinds of really good reasons. <laughs> to do more DIY in your magic. And this is a great way to learn how to just, especially if you're new to DIY, it's yeah. a good way to get in on the ground floor. So that box is examinable. Mm -hmm. um, the um, the card is not, but that what? doesn't mean that it's not <laughs> killer. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, as a visual, mm -hmm. I, I don't think there's a way to figure out how that works. I don't think I, so, no. I, I mean, I remember seeing it earlier this year. I just, I have no, I like, not a clue. Yeah. This no, is one that came across our inbox. It did. It? Yeah. It did, yeah, because sometimes when you submit things to the partner program, mm -hmm. it might end up being a trick that we at Penguin might want to produce as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so I know we had talked about um, yeah. this trick at one point, but um, a lot it had a lot of fans, a lot yeah. of fans. Uh, this did very well last year, so congrats to Ebby Tones, yep. uh, his first time in the partner trick of the year category, and I hope... Um, uh, well, congratulations, uh, well, for sure. We're about to move on, but the chat is going crazy in here because not only do we have Craig Petty's Magic TV joining us, but Rob Sheridan's joining us, Ray Eden, just John Music and Magic, Andrew Niner of Boombox fame, and Whoa. Jen the Magician, as well as uh, Redstone Golem and Card Tricks Forever. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, we're always glad to have you here. And uh, Nick, I think we're going to move on to... Uh, well, we have a... Um, a giveaway that we're going to finish Yeah, we up. have a giveaway. And we should also just kind of mention, like, today we're just talking about the nominees, yeah. all right? After this live stream, voting for the Penguin Magic Awards will go live. You will see uh, the voting will go live on Instagram. We'll throw a link in the chat down below, but you'll definitely be able to get to it through our Instagram and our Facebook. It's a fun form that you can fill out. You can start going around and campaigning for your favorite tricks and your favorite creators. We're always, we love seeing how hard people campaign for some of the bigger categories. And, and it's, it's really, really fun. 
Voting will be up for a week. Yeah. So it'll go till next Friday. Mm -hmm. And then we will have the award show on the 27th. Yes. So uh, 27th of January, where we will announce the winners mm -hmm. from your votes uh, on the 27th. So that is uh, what is going on. But we do have another giveaway yep. here. And we have a winner, right? We do have a winner. We, uh, uh, we had just put up a uh, giveaway for Sticker Kicker by Jamie Williams and Roddy McGee. Chris White uh, has one sticker kicker. That is at Chris White 7619, at, uh, at CWhite 7619. Chris White, congratulations. Boom! Uh, you have won sticker kicker by Jamie Williams and Roddy McGee. Be sure to message us on Instagram and you will get connected with Josh Birch and he will figure out how to get that out to you. That is a killer, killer trick. Which way are we going next? Just down. We're going to go down. down and then um, let me check those, see if the other giveaway is up from is Josh here. Okay. We need the, uh, whenever Josh gets the next post up, we will be giving away Brainchild. Brainchild? By Kyle Purnell. Oh, that's exciting. Bra so. I can't wait to talk more about Brainchild later because Brainchild is such an yeah. incredible trick. <clears throat> right. But now, I think we're, we're a big category now. Yeah, this big category. It's a huge category. Yeah, there are people who fight for this one. Yes. Uh, this is Lecture of the Year at Penguin Magic. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the nominees. Oh, man. You could argue that this is one of the, maybe the uh, award of the year. Spidey. No surprise there. Yeah. Won the trick of the year last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty well. This Penguin Live lecture is amazing. I uh, love this one. Uh, good buddy Benjamin Barnes, Chicago Magic Lab. Oh, yeah. Nominated for Penguin Magic Live. He killed. Craig Petty. Nominated there for he Penguin is. Live lecture of the year. Congratulations. First Craig. Craig Petty sighting of the day. Amanda Luca. Woo! One of the youngest ones. Bill Abbott, Ginger Ninja, Ginger Ninja. <laughs> Congratulations to yeah, all wow. of the nominees. That one year. was so hard yeah. to put together. It's, I mean, it always is. Yeah. There's so many that are on the bubble there, but mm -hmm. when it came down to it, those were the best. Yes, those were the best. Uh, so again, the nominees are determined uh, by a couple different factors. One is by total uh, sales numbers. Sales comments. Yeah, sales comments. Uh, there are the uh, the reviews and then artistic merit as well. And we have some very, very strong lectures here. Uh, let's talk about Spidey first. Mm -hmm. uh, Spidey's lecture is really cool. So Spidey came in and taught us his real working mentalism repertoire. Spidey's not just a YouTube personality uh, and not just a dude who performs on TV on like Masters of Illusion or uh, or you know all the the big shows. He's a real worker. This guy's working for some of the biggest companies in the world. He did colleges and clubs all across North America. He's performed on almost every continent, I think. Uh, he does massive mentalism shows, and he's out there doing the real work. And this, it was amazing to watch him come in and just blow people away. And you get, yeah, you get to look at his like close-up stuff. Yeah, stuff that he would do uh, and walk around mm -hmm. cocktail style, and it's you know it's mentalism. Yeah, which is like. Every, I feel like everybody asks me, mm -hmm. what do you do for close-up and mentalism, you know? It, the other thing that you should check out is, the re other thing you should check it out is because the sort of the, the first two-thirds of the lecture are great routines. Like Ouija, arguably one of the strongest effects in that entire Very thing. cool. It's really, really cool. Uh, you've got like, you have somebody write down a fake name and a fake occupation for a fake spirit and then you create like a little, uh, like a Ouija board almost to communicate <laughs> with this fake spirit. So it's a really cool way of doing, like of reading somebody's mind and communicating with the dead, but you're not really communicating with it. It's a mm -hmm. really, really well thought out plot. Um, but the back third is Spidey's crash course in cold reading, yeah, which is so cool. Yeah, and you get live performances yeah. of him doing it here before mm -hmm. the show and on, on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's very, I, I mean, it's a great lecture. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to say anything other than it's super if good. you're into mind reading stuff, mentalism, and you want close up. Mm -hmm. Look, he's not afraid to work with playing cards and things. No, you know, it's not like one of these mentalism purists that's like, oh, it's got to only be billets and nothing else or no props. Uh, you're gonna learn me mental magic stuff yeah. here uh, with card tricks and um, is it, there the ESP card trick, right? The, yeah, the ESP card trick's pretty cool. There's one with ma uh, not matches. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, uh, toothpicks or matches? Was it matches? It was, think, matches. No, it was matches. It was matches. It was matches. Yeah, it was like it's really good. Really smart routine. Yeah. Um. Very. Uh, I mean, he's good. Easily he's really one. good. This was a no brainer for one of the lectures yeah. of the year. We should mention that the uh, the brainchild post is up on Instagram right now. 
Yep. And so, uh, for one um, brainchild, all you have to do is go follow Penguin Magic on Instagram and tell us your all-time favorite lecture. All-time favorite lecture. All-time favorite lecture. So go there, go to our Instagram, at Penguin Magic Shop. Follow us, <laughs> like the, uh, the, the uh, Lecture of the Year comment, and let us know your favorite lecture of all time. But let's move on from Spidey, because we got a lot of people to talk about here, too. Our good buddy Jeffrey Wong. Yeah, this is this is like this is a Cinderella sweetheart like all star Penguin live story because we first met him at a Max event in yeah, LA. In LA, yeah. We've been working all day. We were sitting around. We were just we we're just having. What is this? 2018. Yeah, 2017, 2018, somewhere in there. We're ha- it must have been 20. No, it was 2019. I guess it could have been 2019. It was yeah. 2019. Yeah. Um, 2019 is that the year that feels like 20 years ago at this yeah. point. <laughs> Nick and I are sitting at a table. We're doing some card tricks with some people. This young guy walks up and goes, "Can I show you some magic?" And proceeded to blow our brains out of our butts. Yeah, I mean, I he think was, I think the. Um, the word is out yeah. on Jeffrey Wang, or is it Wong? Wong. Wong. Jeffrey Wong. Wong. Sorry, yeah. Jeffrey. I always call him Jeff, I think, whenever mm. I'm around him. Yeah. Just to, anyway. You know um, him for his sleeving. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he does miracles. Yeah. Miracles like, with coins or anything. In short sleeves, and he's yeah. just like, boop, and the coin is gone. Yeah, I didn't. we didn't have the time to put all the clips up on here, so yeah. you can't really quite see it. But, man, he... Um, he goes viral all the time. Yeah, because he just the methods are invisible. Yeah. I mean, we all we, there's one method. Yes. You're right, but, like, you'll want to know his thoughts on it. There's some cool stuff that he's doing up there. He's moving coins up and down his arms, moving them into lots of different areas. And, you know, he had a download a release that he worked put out with Shin Lim called now you sleeve me. This mm-hmm. is basically everything from that, but like really, really refined. And I, it is no secret that I'm not a coin magician, but Jeffrey throws a coat on me and walks me through everything. So you see me drop a coin a few times, but you see me get the technique pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, and it's that there's like some card stuff, some coin stuff. Uh, there's only a couple Penguin Live lectures that you can learn sleeving like this. Yeah. Uh, Rocco being the other one. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, Jeffrey's <laughs> lectures. Uh, if you need, to, if you want to learn this stuff, you have to get this. Yeah, and a lot of people did last year. Yeah, um, because it's very, very good coin lecture. Yeah, well, I was gonna say one last mm-hmm. thing about it. I can't quite remember what it was, but um, yeah, if it comes to me, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll think of it. He's super good. Uh, it, worth absolutely <coughs> worth it. Really exciting. Uh, next up, next, uh, we're gonna move on from Jeffrey Wong to a gentleman who is lurking in the chat right now, Mr. Craig Petty. Mm. This one, so this was this was cool for a lot of reasons. So A, we've been friends with Craig for a long time. We finally got him over here. We filmed a billion different projects with him, and then we got to do his lecture. Uh, this is also, uh, this is right after we finished remodeling the Penguin Magic Theater. So Craig was the very first outside performer mm-hmm. in the Penguin Magic Theater. But this lecture is full of stuff. Card yeah. magic, coin magic, jumbo coin magic, mentalism. Mm-hmm. There's a pick a pseudo pickpocket routine in here. Well, I, I just There's... realized that like I've had to absorb so much Craig Petty magic this yeah. year that I, my brain was like, what was even on the yeah. lecture? How could there be more stuff on the lecture? This thing is a monster. So... And, and every time he teaches you a trick, he also goes, but you can also apply this to this, 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 and this. Yeah. You know, a bunch of different ways. It's one this is one of those things where I think that people like watch Craig Petty's magic TV for a while and they were like this guy has got a lot of big opinions can he back them up oh and he 110 percent backs them up in this the show alone is so worth it yeah i mean the reason why he's on this list is probably mainly because of just his sheer popularity yeah um but the magic on here is arguably more i mean it's more important than than anything else but it's loaded with stuff you know uh, so he's got a celebrity. Pred- Here's the, the trick list. I'll yeah. give you celebrity prediction. Pick a pocket. Mm-hmm. Cheeky cheeky bet. Sponge bearing. Sponge bearing is one of the better things on there. Yeah. Triple threat, mm-hmm. which is that coin routine. Yeah. Uh, try umph. Mm-hmm. Uh, card under box, which was my big takeaway yeah. from that re- from from the uh, lecture. Man, every time dudes from the UK come over here and do card under. Yeah, box, they are. They're all like, card under box guys. Yeah. You know, um, card under box quivering transpo. Mm-hmm. Invisible cards across mm-hmm. and forecast. Forecast is really cool as well. Yeah, which yeah. I think was that a pro- uh, that might uh, have been a, a, a card product as well. I think uh, that it, it was out. a product in the past, and he just sort of breaks it down because it's, uh, it uses a lot of stuff that you have access to. Mm. There's some fantastic uh, applications of the invisible deck in there. I mean, all you got to do is watch watch the demo for it. My neighbor is in the demo, sitting at the table, and her jaw is on the floor the whole time. 
Yeah, you'll learn yeah. tons of magic. I, these are the yeah. one of the best examples of a, what a Penguin Live lecture can yeah. be. Oh, um, absolutely. So, like, if you get this, you're not going to get one thing. You're going to get four things yep. out of it, you know? So, you know, like, we all know why Jeffrey Wong was nominated, because mm -hmm. he's, like, the best in the world at what he does, yeah. right? You're going to get that to learn mm -hmm. that thing. Spidey... He's like one of the best in the world mm -hmm. at reading people's minds, so you're getting that lecture for that thing. Mm -hmm. Here, you're you're getting routines. Yep. You're getting workers, and it's basically how many of them are, do you want? Because you, all of these yeah. things are things you can do. The, so. I mean, the only UK performer I can think of that is busier than Craig Petty is Ryland Petty. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, Craig's lucky that Ryland wasn't nominated for lecture of the year. Mm. <laughs> well, it's just because he hasn't done one yet. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him in. Yeah, we'll get yeah. him in. All right, let's move on uh, from Craig Petty to one of the youngest Penguin Live lectures ever to come through here. This is Amanda Nepo. This mm. is another really fascinating lecture. Amanda sort of burst Wait, is it the youngest? Scene. Amanda is the youngest lecturer. Right. Yeah. Was there... I thought we had this conversation recently. Uh, Kaylin Morelli was pretty young. Okay. I think, Kay well, Kaylin Morelli may still have the record. I can't remember. Definitely the youngest woman, mm. uh, but maybe not the youngest ever. But, mm. but I can't close. remember. Close. Yeah. Uh, 16 year old creator, performer, uh, see her all over Instagram. She's one of the youngest people to fool Penn and Teller. She was on the Penn and Teller Fool You at Home special, uh, uh, performed at Magi Fest, got a standing ovation at Magi Fest last year, uh, and has uh, started to appear on the convention circuit. With uh, She's going to start lecturing soon as well. This lecture in particular is a really interesting uh, look at her creativity and her creative process. Amanda sort of is well known for her stuff on Instagram. She does some really fascinating stuff on Instagram where she builds a lot of her own gimmicks. This year she came out with Diamond Cutter, which is her first major release uh, through a Penguin, uh, through a magic uh, production company. And this lecture is full of really interesting stuff. Uh, if, you, if you've ever thought, wondered like how to create a trick from the ground up, Amanda's lecture is one to, one to take a look at. Yeah, I'm always fascinated with people that just think differently yeah. like when you learn some of Amanda's methods mm -hmm. they're just like wh how, where did that come from you yeah. know like I that that's completely off base mm -hmm. from where my brain went you yeah. know a lot of times when we're watching magic tricks we're all kind of like okay so it's a this and this and this and mm -hmm. this but her stuff sometimes you're like wait wait what okay she's um, got like an appearing toilet paper on here yeah uh, so the the trick list here and, and we have the court trick uh mm -hmm. The pixel pop, which <laughs> oh, the pixel pop is a really interesting like appearing box where she like she uh, developed a really neat sort of origami box that yeah the mine it says Minecraft pixel magically pops out of a phone yep which is great appearing cup and toilet paper which yeah. is what you were talking about yeah. uh, Amanda's take on a card mentalism principle this was a fascinating one uh, that it turned out that Amanda independently created with somebody uh, uh, somebody else created something at the same time that was. Uh, is independent and it was one of those things where I've been playing with a deck of cards for 20 years and then she goes she does this thing and fools the crap out of me and then she teaches me uh, the mentalism principle involved and I was like oh, man this is new I hadn't seen that before uh, turns out there's a couple of other people who were on the right the same track but it was the first time that I was aware that it was in print which is neat yeah uh, the other the next one unforking believable yes which was my probably favorite trick. This is definitely one of those like this I deep mean, insight into Amanda's brain. You'd never do it, yeah. you know. Like I mean, but it's an Instagram trick. Yeah, it's an Instagram thing. But I remember watching this on Instagram and just mm -hmm. being floored by yeah. it. Like it's so smart. Yeah, it's so smart. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's like mm -hmm. she has a floating apple. Yeah, and then reveals the method. Right, like she's like, oh, you don't know how it floats. Like and turns it around. There's a fork sticking out of the back, mm -hmm. and you're like, I don't know. She's got it. Bomb. Yeah. underneath her arm or something i can't quite remember and then she takes the fork out yeah and then makes the apple float again yeah and reveals another fork. reveals another fork and then it floats again so it's not like how is the apple floating it's where the fork's coming from yeah. right and um i i you just get dragged down the yeah. garden path on that one pretty hard it's a great video if, i mean if you don't follow her on instagram she's always putting great stuff out on there you and should. so that's one i believe it's probably like her yeah. most popular video uh, and uh, diamond cutter is on there so it's one of the yeah. first times we it's one of the first times you learn diamond cutter from Man amanda nepo yeah diamond cutter is on this lecture uh, but diamond cutter it's on there by i think a different name um, no it's called diamond cutter right here okay, yeah i think we updated it 
Uh, so you learn diamond cutter because you can do diamond cutter yourself. But when we <coughs> made it with a product as a product with Amanda, it just there's a lot of things that you could make yourself, but it's a lot easier if you just buy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but diamond cutter is worth learning on the lecture because there's some interesting stuff about the way, again, the way she thinks, the methods, really fascinating stuff. Uh, morphing M and M's. Oh yeah. Uh, transform mini M mm -hmm. and M tube into a box of M and M's. Yep. TNR, mm -hmm. which is a signed card in a uh, signed card thing. Mm -hmm. uh, diamond cutter. Oh, diamond cutter is the last yeah. one. Yeah, okay. diamond cutter is the last one. Great lecture. Uh, let's move on from Amanda though to uh, another fantastic one. This is actually one you hosted because you've known this lecturer for quite some time. This is our good buddy Bill Abbott. Known him. I'm lucky to have known him. I yeah. mean, this guy like was one of those guys that I was looking up to when I first getting into magic. This is one of those. There's a, sort of an interesting backstory to this. Is that Bill has a theater down in Florida, and, oh, and yeah. uh, we because of some scheduling things, we were going to have Nick uh, host the lecture, which was which is so fantastic. And you were on your way to the theater when a hurricane spun up. Yeah, that, what was it? Was it Gloria? I think it was Gloria. I can't quite remember. So we ended up bringing Bill to uh, Columbus to film this lecture, and I was so excited because a i got to hang out with them you didn't get to keep them all to yourself but b i got to uh see the lecture and it's, it, this is bill's a game this, this is, is what he walks around with look i mean bill puts out great stand-up material but this is the this is the this is the good stuff this, i mean like yeah. it's all good stuff coming mm -hmm. from bill but the stuff that he walks around with because bill is a killer close-up magician but he kind of approaches it as like a parlor guy yeah. like his his close-up but mm -hmm. like it's so sneaky strong. You're going to learn some pretty easy to do and classic stuff. Craig, I'm telling you right now, Bill Abbott is coming for you with the invisible deck. Oh. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Battle of the invisible decks yeah, in, in I, lecture because this is some of the strongest invisible deck work I've ever seen. So he's got a, a shot glass production that he does in close up, Ooh. which is great, yeah. like a liquid production. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's kind of got more of a parlor feel to it, but when you see how he approaches it, um, no big deal. He's got the best. Ashes on palm. 100%. Uh, million percent. No one touches him with um, ashes on palm. It, and actually, I kind of prefer his ashes yeah, on the palm you, to double cross. You're going to get converted. Like, sorry, yeah. I guess if you are a big double cross performer, maybe don't watch this lecture. No, because <laughs> you'll, you'll, ha you'll hang it up. Um, so you, he's going to give you the full work. And and the other thing is, is he teaches you his like walk around kit and how to build it, yeah. which is crazy. Once you see this thing, you're like, I suck at carrying more, close up magic. Around. More people need to share their go to close up walk around, like their yeah. close up kit like that because Bill's is Bill's made me think. Yeah, I, I'm in those like everyday carry groups. Yeah, and you see people taking pictures of what they carry around. You got to see what Bill carries his stuff around because yeah. it's incredible. Uh, and then he'll teach you his uh, ultra mental mingling, which is like this three phase invisible deck routine that, it, you know, when you watch it, you're like, why, why wouldn't I not never do this? Yeah. I do all, you know, invisible deck all the time. And like, mm -hmm. it's just, it, you'll be breaking out the invisible deck. Uh, just John <laughs> Music and Magic over here in the chat saying, Bill did a lecture here in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Great stuff. Mm. Yeah. And I'm sure it's this kind of lecture. You know? Well, you also get a center tear as well and like a lot of people have always said you, you hear this if you talk center tears with people like well have you, have you seen bill abbott's mm -hmm. it's amazing he goes into it in depth mm -hmm. and then you also get stand-up stuff yep. so um a, a nice little three dice thing or it's like a, a three a dice thing is cool course. because i thought he was using an electronic die and he is not it's really no weird. yeah so it feels mm -hmm. like an electronic die routine mm -hmm. but it's not that uh, and then he's got a couple other uh, routines on here. Weird ass psychic power, which is a, a way to reveal a serial number on a bill. Mm -hmm. It's essentially a bill switch, yeah. but it's very, very clever. Uh, Princess in the P, which is... Uh, it, it, doesn't, it uses his smart ass camera yeah. a little bit, but... Yep, yeah, it, it's basically... Um, what is he What is he using it for in here? I can't quite remember. Oh, he it. uses it as like a, like a finale prediction reveal right. type deal. And then uh, the first crush, which is a direct mind reading routine mm -hmm. that uses the the center tear and yep. everything like that. So, I mean, it's loaded with stuff. Yeah, it's a killer, killer lecture. Everything on there again, just like Craig Petty's lecture. You watch it and you start to question, why don't you do 
<laughs> these types of things and you will make changes, I promise. You will get something out of this. We're going to move into our last lecture of the year to talk about them. But before we do, just want to remind you, there is a giveaway going on right now. Go over to Penguin Magic's Instagram. You will find there that we are giving away a brainchild <coughs> by Kyle Purnell. You just got to uh, like the post and then comment with your favorite Penguin lecture of all time and you will be entered in a chance to win Brainchild by Kyle Purnell. But speaking of lectures of the year, let's talk about our final nominee, Ben Barnes. I'm so excited. I was so excited that we were able to get Ben Barnes in to lecture. Yeah. I'm even more excited that he's nominated for the lecture of the year. He, I can't wait to message him. And yeah. Like, hey, congratulations. Ben is the entertainment director for Chicago Magic Lounge. And if you've never been there, you got to check it out. I'm oh. going gonna, gonna to be performing there at the end of March. I know you're going to be there again. I'll soon. be there sometime. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, but Ben performs for some of the largest uh, companies in the world. He performs for celebrities all the time. The, this is like Bill Abbott's in that these are his workers. Yeah. There's an ambitious card in here that you're going to go, you're going to look at it, and on the surface, you're going to go, oh, it's an ambitious card. And when you get into the details of this, all the little things he does to convince the audience that they're the ones putting the cards in there, it's, it's a killer. So it's all card lecture, right? Uh, it, it, it is so. all, called, all an all card lecture. However, uh, he has a version of Ultra Lucky Coin that is mm, right. uh, much more similar to uh, Dropsy Diddle right. in the Artful Dodges of Eddie Fields. But Ben's got some really great touches on it that really just put it head and shoulders above. I mean, one of my biggest takeaways, uh, material aside, because like if you're a card guy, there's great routines on here. You're getting mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like seven routines. Mm -hmm. um, he was just such a strong performer. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I expected it, mm -hmm. but when he got here, I, I just said, I realized I'd never seen him do a show. No. And he was so charming. Mm -hmm. There's like, I want to go back through the lecture and be like, <laughs> just kind of look at how well he, how he treats people. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the overall performance that he gave was so powerful. Yeah. And the tricks that go along with it were so good as well. Um, so he, he started with, oh, I remember this first yeah. one. I don't know how to say it. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, how do you say that? Uh, no savant. Okay. No savant. No savant. Yeah, that one was like I have. I still have any idea how it works. Yeah. But that was one of the best ones I thought. Mm -hmm. Ambitious card, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. He tips his top change work. Yeah, his top change work is it's dynamite. Yeah. Um, says Eugene Berger. Berger's fabulous effect improved. Oh, spectator is, selects a card. Nope. Another spectator tries to find it. Yeah, it's a force. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, and then oh man. Dropsy diddle. Dropsy diddle. Very solid. Moving Pencil. Moving Pencil was my favorite on the... There was a time there where we were doing, uh, like, my the, the my my hot, my hot quick picks. So I would I'd take the favorite, my favorite routine from the lecture and, and cut it out just <clears> for you. The Moving Pencil was amazing. So he has a deck of cards. Somebody takes a pen, puts it down on one. They sign the back. They shuffle the deck, spread it face up. They move the pencil around, freely put it down anywhere they want. You spread all the cards away, you turn it over, and it's the one they sign. It's... So good. <laughs> so unbelievably good. Surefire every time. It's amazing. You're going to love it. And the story that he has that goes along with it, absolutely killer. The Rossini double reverse. That is, uh, that is uh, his handling of the Leipzig double reverse, uh, but also super strong. Mm -hmm. And then the Impossible Force. Yes. Which is, uh, it says it's the best force he's ever seen and has used it to fool many of the world's top magicians. When, uh, the last time I was at the uh, Chicago Magic Lounge was before Ben's lecture, and he was like, I'm thinking about putting this in my lecture, and he came up and he forced a, uh, the same card at me about a dozen times, and I never saw it coming. Mm. And I was like, you gotta put that in the lecture. It was so good. Well, it was uh, exciting to see his name in the top group of lectures. I was like, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> well, and uh, I guess a little just shout out to the previous winners, mm -hmm. Adam Wilbur last year. Yep. Adam Wilbur was last year's lecture lecturer. of the year, and then the, our original 2020 winner, Mario the Maker. Fantastic lecture as well. Yeah. Speaking of uh, winners, we have a winner of Brainchild. It is Ben Sheck, at Sheck Ben. So Ben Sheck, congratulations. You've won Brainchild by Kyle Purnell. Uh, go ahead and message the Penguin Magic Instagram, and you will uh, you'll get in touch with our good buddy Josh. He will get you all sorted out right there. But congratulations, Ben. We're just giving tons of stuff away here. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, at least three more, three more video, uh, three more down. Yeah, yeah. The next one. Oh no, two more. Oh, two the, more. Ne uh, the next one we're giving away is. Uh, no, three more, three more, yeah, three the, more giveaways. The next one we're giving away is. Oh, this is a big one. It's a big one. Uh, we're giving away laced up, laced up. I know everybody's excited about laced up laced out up there. Laced up by Donovan Mount. Uh, for good reason. So we will be. Um, all you got to do, head on over to Instagram, mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Let's see if it's up there. I bet it's already I up. I bet it's up. Yep, there it yep, is. Yep, well, there it is. Win Laced Up by Donovan Mount. There's a pinned post giveaway on our Instagram. Make sure you like Penguin Magic. Make sure you like this post. Mm-hmm. Comment on it. Yeah, comment on it. What do we have to do? What do we have to do? Uh, I think I think he sent it to us. Uh, to win laced up. Oh, you must name the last trick you performed. Oh. So hop in there. Go to Instagram. Like it. Uh, <laughs> like the post. Follow us. Uh, comment in that post the last trick that you performed. Very, very excited for that. Yeah. So get on the giveaway there. And uh, to reiterate, we are talking about the nominees for the Penguin Magic Awards of 2022. The Wait. voting will be starting after this live stream. Yep, you'll see a link uh, in the live stream when we get to the end of it. There will also be a link on Instagram, and I imagine there will be a link on Facebook. You'll be able to find out there. But let's move on. Fantastic tech person, please let us see the nominees for download of the year. <laughs> We're getting into some of our stuff here. So here we have uh, Torn Teleport by Risky Nanda. We got a lot of Dalton Wayne here. Stick and Twisted by Kyle Purnell. Is, is that our first Kyle Purnell set? The sixth grade. Greatest card tricks in the history of magic by Rick Lax and Justin. Oh, I love it. Virtual, Virtual Oil and Water. Diageo Fasano. Again, presented by Dalton Wayne. 52 Crew by Jay Grove. Also presented by Dalton Wayne. <laughs> there they are. Those are the nominees. Yeah. Congrats to everybody there. Again, this is another category that I was excited um, some cool for some of these people uh, that are in the category. Uh, so, download of the year, this category is, you know, we have a couple categories here that this is stuff that we produce. Yeah. So, you know, it's, a way for it's us kind to- of fun for us in a way to have these categories on here and just help you. Uh, let everybody know what we've been up to here at Penguin. You know what, though? It's it's really a great way for us to celebrate all the great creators we get to work with every yeah. year. I mean, because, like, you know, it's one thing, it's very gratifying presenting a trick that uh, somebody else has created and being able to help them get it out there and also, you know, make a little money because, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's always awesome for that. But it's really fun for us to celebrate the creativity and the success of these creators. And uh, let's talk about our first one, Virtual Oil and Water by Biagio Fasano. I mean, everyone was doing this one. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was like excited to see, <laughs> at least we have one virtual trick left. Yeah. Look, look at this shot of Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is cool because this is like, this is... well, I mean, it, it, you you know exactly what it is by the title. Yeah. It's a, it's a virtual oil and water, which means you could do it live, yeah. but it's designed in a way that you could do it over Zoom mm-hmm. or um, FaceTime or, or whatever. And so it's multi-phase mm-hmm. and the spectator follows along with what you do. It's a lot of like process mm-hmm. uh, interweaving red cards and black cards. So as long as a spectator has six red and six black cards, I believe you're correct. You, can do, you can do this routine. And um, yeah. I'm, what I'm most excited about is that there's still a virtual trick in this category. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, I mean, like. I wonder if there'll be virtual tricks every year from now on. You know, there's got to be. Don't, I, I, don't I hope virtual... they don't just disappear. No. But uh, I, feel like, I feel like there should be at least a couple virtual. You know, the, the Panini was a tough time for all of us. And uh, I, I, I wasn't thrilled about it. But it did breed innovation in Magic. And there yeah. were some really clever virtual tricks that came out. And this was definitely one of them. Yeah. It would be, it would be sad if the innovation stopped yeah. in, in this area. So I guess this one was just kind of like last in line, <laughs> but um, I think so. But you know, but it was popular. It was. Uh, it, was uh, it was among the most popular downloads of last year. So it, there's a couple of moments in this that are, are really fun. One is um, so like you mix the cards mm-hmm. with the spectator, like red and black, red and black, red and black, mm-hmm. and then you you as the magician pass the the magic over to the spectator. So you do this fun thing where you like touch fingers on the screen. Mm-hmm. And they spread theirs, and it and it it oils out uh, yeah. all red and black. But yours don't because you don't have the. So it was interesting yeah. that like there's there's some weird um, uh, moments here where like the magic happens on your side or the spectator side, mm-hmm. and then again at the end you can have the whole deck uh, even out as well to yeah. red and black. So it's very well taught from Dalton. Yeah, and you get like this uh, cool virtual performance as well. So uh, just a great download, great yeah. trick. It, if you need. More virtual material. Like, try, take a look. Take yep. a look. And one of the few downloads that Dalton Wayne presented this year that wasn't shot in a car park. 
This car's <laughs> probably in the demo somewhere. Yeah. Probably, probably. Uh, let's move on to uh, one of our favorite creators uh, around here, Risky Nanda. We're mm. talking about torn teleport. This is a this is a really really fascinating trick where a corner is torn off of a card and then it's put away, and then you visually teleport. The, like there's a transposition that happens with a card and the corner uh, change places. Yeah, the corner changes into the torn card. Yeah, and then the, cor and and the then corner the corner ends up in your, in your pocket. Hand. There, it, this is one where there's a little arts and crafts to it, but the arts and crafts are not terribly difficult. Yeah, not much at all. Uh, this is really, I remember this is one of those ones that came across our desk early in the year, and we were like, oh yeah, that's really cool. Uh, it's super visual. You, it's not just a virtual trick. You can absolutely do this in real life. Uh, and you end up with you know this wonderful visual of a torn corner turning into a full-size card. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the visual says it all. Like, you yeah. can just watch Dalton here. You mm -hmm. tear that off, show the corner on the top of the deck, throw that in your pocket. And then, I mean, there's no, this looks like some sneaky sleight of hand. It's really not. Nope. It's just kind of you just pull on that thing. You should note, by the way, this is not a <coughs> torn and restored trick. This is a torn transposition, which is really fascinating. It's a torn teleport. A torn teleport, yes. <laughs> uh, but the two, the two. I've always been fascinated by the idea of lopsided transpositions where something smaller and something bigger are changing places. And this, this does fall into that category, which is visually and artistically interesting. And so congratulations to Risky Nanda for not only being nominated, but for creating such a cool idea. Yeah, we, he also had a popular product out earlier this year. Axis yep. came out during the Black Friday mm -hmm. thing. Risky's got a whole host of great effects. He's mm -hmm. one of our more popular... Uh, partners mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so type his name in Penguin. But mm -hmm. congrats on download of the year uh, nomination because uh, it was one of the best downloads mm -hmm. of 2022. Let's move on to that another, we produce that we produce that we produce. Let's move on to another great download, uh, 52 through by Jay Grill. This was another really cool one. Solid through solid effects are always really popular, and this is one of those ones where you can sort of like show everything from every angle. Yeah, and, and like you, you're pushing a card through a box, and everyone would assume that the card box is empty, but it's not. Yeah, it's like that Full classic uh, matchbox penetration trick that's so popular. Yeah, but yeah, this is yeah, it's um, you take a card, you shove it through the card box, you pull the card out, and then take the deck out of the box. Mm -hmm. Once that card comes out, you're you're examinable. Yeah. Right? Like you're like pull that deck out there, they can look at all this. Yeah. So um it's yeah. It's it's another like really interesting idea. There's a little bit of DIY involved, but it's it, this is super super simple. This DIY. is a fun one to like make yeah. and just play with. Yeah. Like cuz it just looks so ridiculous. Smart idea. Great idea. And, you know, not terribly expensive. So if you're one of those people who's always putting material out on Instagram where you want to like put something out, perfect for Instagram. Yeah, no, this is a great trick. Yeah. Uh, super fun, easy to do. I, I don't know what else you could say about it. It's kind of just like watch the video here. Mm -hmm. And if you're into it, um, pick it up. Uh, it was one of our most popular downloads that we produced last year for good reason, as you can see. Yeah. Absolutely. So 52 through by Jay Grill, presented by Dalton Wayne. Uh, let's Before we move on, we should talk a little bit about yep. the giveaway. The giveaway. Again, because yep. if you're just joining us, we are, uh, A, we're Well, counting. if you're just joining us, we're sorry, because we already gave away a vanishing card, sticker kicker, and brainchild. Yeah. But there's good news. Because we're giving away Laced Up by Donovan Mount right now. Just yeah. head on over to Penguin Magic's Instagram. There is a post there that tells you that it's given away Laced Up. Make sure to like the post and then comment inside that post the last trick that you performed. What was the last trick you performed? Uh, oh, actually, it was it was last night. I was at a and d session. I was playing Dungeons & Dragons, and I did Sax Dice Routine, <laughs> uh, which then they told me I wasn't allowed to bring my own dice anymore. Right. Even, and, then I, and then I did it with their dice. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that was the last trick I did. I guess it was at House of Cards in Nashville. Yeah. I don't think I've done a trick since then. Multiplying bottles? Uh, no, I would have been my I would have been um, uh, my card and card and my bill and card. Yeah, um, yeah, cool. I, yeah. Just like a bill to impossible mm -hmm. location was the last thing I did. I wish I had something better to say, but no. I guess that was, if I'm being truthful, that was the last trick I did. You know, the last trick I did on stage, The Awakening by Dan Harlan. Mm. I did it up in Cleveland. Oh man, but that didn't make. Did that not make it? It, it, it was, was like that's a bubble trick, right? It was seventh. Oh man, it was seven. Wow, I remember this conversation. Yeah, I looked at it because I'm like, seven. that came out this year. Yeah, yeah I'm like, oh, crap. But we're still in downloads. Sorry, like, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. laced up. We laced already, up. We already yeah. said it. Yeah, go yeah, to we Instagram. Said it. Yeah, uh, we'll be giving that away at the end of when we're talking about downloads here. So you only got a little bit yeah. of time to get that done. Speaking of downloads, let's talk about a super popular one. This is the six greatest card tricks in the history of Magic by Justin Flum. Facts. And 
<laughs> uh, this is a, a, an amazing down. Is this still so free? Good. Yes, I think it is. Uh, so this is normally $150, but we're giving it to you for free. Even at $150, it's a steal. What this is, <laughs> is Rick Lax and Justin Flom have been doing, uh, they, they have been uh, testing different tricks. Uh, they've been sort of focus grouping different tricks. Yeah, and still free. They, uh, they collected their favorite tricks into one sort of mega download. This is really interesting because nothing in here is super hard. Some of it requires sleight of hand, some of it doesn't. Uh, some of it is even self-working. Some really fascinating plots in here. There's a lot of their, their ideas and opinions <laughs> on uh, the best ways to perform this as social magic. Uh, I will tell you, my favorite trick in this download is called Freak Out. And I closed my show at the Magic Castle with this trick because yeah. I was so so excited it's about. It's on this the trick. screen now. You end up with a video. Yeah. So what you do? What did you, you do with all those videos? I just have them. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you you basically with with Freak Out you 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 tell people about social media magicians and how they fake these reactions, <clears throat> and then you get to make a really fun video with everybody where they freak out and and have this like really insane moment where everyone's like yelling and screaming at the camera. Then you proceed to show them what the card trick would have looked like. And you get to the end of the trick, and it appears that the trick has ended. And that's when you remind them of the video in the very beginning. They watch the video back, and the end of the trick that you just performed was actually the very beginning of the trick that you got on video. It's a wild principle and so much fun to do. But there's, there's a great... Uh, there's a great out of this world on here. Yeah. There's some really wonderful impossible prediction effects. Uh, you know, it's filmed, you know, on location in uh, yeah, we went out, Justice House. Yeah, we went out there to film it. Uh, I mean, live the, performances. The video is a plus uh, yeah. production work. So like, I, the the tutorials are excellent. Mm -hmm. It's free, first of all. Yeah. So you, if you're watching this, and you have not seen this. Mm -hmm. Go get it right now. Mm -hmm. There's material on here that you will do. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not on this list because it was free and everybody bought it. No. It's on this list because some of these tricks are so so good. Yeah. Just read the comments. Um, Freak out with I I, I think the um the the, oil, the not the oil and water the the, the out of this world, world on yeah. on there was my favorite from the from the from the, the video. out of this world that he does uses a Leonard Green principle yeah. that I've used for a long time and I was I was I was kicking myself because Justin Flum really had a great presentation. It's like the, it's what it was almost made for, yeah. right? Like yeah, when you watch that presentation, it you, this yeah. is not like simple like stuff out of children's books. I mean, there, no. there are some really strong principles in here. And, you know, Rick and Justin are, are, are very controversial figures, there's no doubt, but they're also arguably great, great magicians and great thinkers. And yeah. It's well worth your attention to look at. It's mostly the presentational hooks, yeah. too, that you're going to get out of this yeah. that are like, wow, yeah, that's Super smart. Great. That's smart, and that's a great pairing mm -hmm. with classic routines that are easy for anybody to do. Yeah. There's really no moves on this download. No. Um, so they're all things that you can do right away. A great, great download. Uh, let's move on to uh, the next one, which is, uh, this is another one that everyone got. Everyone yeah, did. this is, um, is this the first time we are talking about a trick that, yeah, it does look like yeah. it. From this Pulis? is one of the, no, this is one of the top tricks of the year. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I'm not saying anything yep. more than that, but mm -hmm. this is one of the best tricks of yeah. 2022. This is Flip by Wes Iselli. This is, so I got to work on this project with Wes. Uh, Wes had actually released this uh, in years past, um, but what this, what this is, is uh, you're able to predict a coin flip every mm. time. Mm -hmm. Every time. That's just, that's just how it works. And so you throw, throw a coin in the air, they call it in the air, and you can make it appear. You can also control the flip as mm -hmm. well, which is just uh, nuts. You probably saw Wes do this on Penn and Teller Fool Us. It fooled Penn and Teller. Then Penn and Teller bought it from Wes and put it in their show. What else can you say? <laughs> I mean, it's at, right at the beginning of the video. You, Penn and, it's like wild to think that you, yeah. Wes created a trick that's in Penn and Teller's show. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's got to feel really cool. This is his thousand timer. Wes yeah. does this in every show. He's perfect with it. It's really, really a fascinating principle. You probably think you know how it works, and you're wrong because it's better than that. Yeah, control a coin flip. Yeah. I... I you know, it's not something that I have always been like looking for, mm -hmm. right? But when this came out, you realize very quickly that, oh, you're in the minority. <laughs> yeah. Because this was a super popular trick and the discussion around this trick was pretty rabid. Like, mm -hmm. as far as people giving their opinions mm -hmm. about coin flips, I just didn't know that the coin flip plot mm -hmm. in general was so uh, popular. Yeah. Uh, but here we are. Um, 
I used Flip. I was on vacation recently. I was down in Florida, and uh, we were, I think we were flipping, uh, we were doing a coin flip to decide who got the last oyster in a basket of oysters. And I used Flip to get that last yeah. oyster. I, I mean, mean was... why not? Well, if you can control a coin flip, yeah. I mean, there's no method here other than your own brain and mm -hmm. your hands, yeah. right? So. Um... And he teaches you how to do it with half dollars, dollars, foreign currency, yep. uh, you know, tokens. There's all kinds of stuff you can do this with. It's, it's great. Uh... Yeah, that's one of the best. Why, why wouldn't you know how to do this? No, you should do it. You should learn it. And let's move on to the last download uh, that was nominated, which is our good buddy Kyle Purnell, our first Kyle Purnell sighting no, this year. Oh, yeah. The, oh, I remember we said that one yeah. thing, but it feels like 20 minutes ago. So. Stick and Twisted by Kyle Purnell. Yeah, Stick and Twisted. A wild one. Yeah, this was this was different. Yeah. Um, download with a, it's a torn or restored post-it note that's yeah. signed and put backwards, mm -hmm. right? I mean, so... We look at this video here. You can kind of get an idea for what the end result is. It's mm -hmm. a it's a torn mini note that when you restore it, it you put the ends the, like the torn parts on the outside, and their names or what do you, yeah, I can't quite the, remember. The, you the, write on it, and they write on it. You write on it, they write on it. The right. torn you tear it apart, you put it back together. The torn parts on the outside, the smooth parts are on the inside. Uh, it's a visual uh, restoration that happens in their hands. Is this another one of those like we talk about this all the time with Kyle? When you buy something from Kyle, you get something he's done a thousand times yep. in front of an audience uh, at his magic bar or at one of his gigs. He he has where the routines he, figured out. Yeah, where is he at? Is he at? Uh, he's there's a bar in the middle of Pennsylvania. Yeah, that, like it's a magic bar. Like you go oh, okay. there and like you can get like food and drinks and stuff. Oh, and, like, all right. You know, Kyle has a day job, but uh, he also does this at night, and he's there a couple nights a week, and he's just doing magic. He's also doing shows with other people, and he does a lot. Yeah. Actually, I threw him a corporate gig once, because I was like, it was out in that neck of the woods, and I was like, I trust Kyle. Yeah. Uh, but he, he works all yeah. the time. Yeah. Comes up so, with great stuff. Tour restored paper. Uh, not what I would have thought would have come out of uh, Kyle Purnell this yeah. year, but like, why not? So it's a great, I mean, this is one of the most popular downloads of the year. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, I, I don't know what else to say about it other yeah. than torn restored paper. It's good. Uh, the I, method's interesting because, like, you you, you, you well, get get, get you have to get it. You have yeah, to get like, it and get all you got to do is get yourself uh, some mini the mini, mini post-it post notes. Yeah. Uh, Kyle goes into how to do, Kyle talks you how to do it through larger ones as well, but the smaller ones actually work better uh, for reasons that he describes. But it's pretty easy. I mean, I I started doing it and. It's fun. It's just, it's just fun. Congrats. It's one of the best uh, downloads of yep. the year. Well, that brings us to the end of downloads of the year, and it is fascinating. So, uh, by the way, if you're just joining us, we are revealing the nominees for the Penguin Magic Awards. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man, this is I hilarious. just saw who I won. I just saw who yeah. won, too. This is really funny. Um, but uh, we're revealing the nominees for the Penguin Magic Awards this year. At the end of this stream, voting will go live. You'll see, you'll see a link in the comments or in the chat here. You'll also see a link uh, on our Instagram and on our Facebook. And the winner of Laced Up is Andrew, Andrew Niner. Niner. Yes. <laughs> the creator of Boombox, Andrew Niner, has won laced up congrats, congratulations andrew niner. andrew niner great trick yeah and uh congrats on laced up yep. as well um we will we'll be giving away key master key. wow does craig petty know about this craig <laughs> turn turn the stream off mute the stream don't turn it off just mute the stream for a second craig everyone else we're giving away key master giving away key master. master what a big trick it's a huge trick what a big trick um there's a theme to all these tricks by the way that yeah. we've been giving away these are oh, we'll find out in just a bit okay but um key master uh be giving that away you just have to head on over to our instagram yep there is a post up there all you got to do is follow penguin magic shop on instagram and name your favorite magic creator Okay. Oh, that should be interesting. Yeah. So you'll see the you'll see the post over there. Go ahead, like the post, and then in the comments on the post, name your favorite magic creator. Mm -hmm. And if you don't name me a Nick, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't, I don't have a chance to like watch all the look mm -hmm. at all these posts, but like, uh, look, I mean, we might as well browse here. So yeah, like, take a look. Laced up some well, the last tricks people performed. Right. I want to know the last trick that Andrew Niner performed. Yeah, that's a good question. Let me see. Where is he at, Andrew Niner? Well, I hope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, he just left a heart. Did he? 
So maybe the last thing he and maybe did he was, maybe, maybe he did he pull his heart out of his chest uh, for Jimmy Kimmel? I can't quite see. Uh, by the way, we can see you folks in the chat here. Rob Sheridan, uh, just you're Canadian and you uh, use Canadian coins. You've been searching to find a half dollars, but for now a twenty-five cent coin. Flip does work with twenty-five cent coins. Uh, we got Dylan Young over here congratulating uh, Inner Niner and Jen the Magician congratulating uh, <laughs> uh, Jen Niner as well or <laughs> Inner Niner as well. Uh, we got a lot of people. Keymaster, Just John Music and Magic says he would love Keymaster. Well, head on over to Instagram right now. Be sure to like the comment and tell everyone your favorite Magic creator. Here's some of the tricks that people performed. Yeah. Totally hands off was Trick Kid. Color Psychology by Adam Wilbur, Ooh. great trick. Pointless, Magic Justin Allen performed. Mm -hmm. Smooth by Nicholas Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Double Cross. Good trick. Uh, the David Williamson's TNR. Oh, Torrent Store Transpo is a great trick. Harlan's Cage trick. Uh, the Awakening by Harlan. Good trick. Tornado, Vanishing Silk, o Oxbender, Money Comes and Goes by Rick Lax. Awesome by, mm -hmm. um, oh, who is that? I can't quite remember. Lots of, lots lots of great of tricks things. in here. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I guess let's move on. This is uh, one of everybody's favorite category. This is an important category. Big category. Uh, inventor of the year. This is one of those where we kind of compile who had multiple releases mm -hmm. and kind of like how popular were those releases. I think the, the, the criteria we have is, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think you have to have released at least three tricks in the year. Well, uh, two, or, two, two, or, two to three. Two to three it, you just have to have at least more than one. More than one. But like it can be weighted based on. I mean, if you put out two monster hits, yeah, like you know that that could, would be more than like if you put out six like yeah. whatever tricks, right? Yeah. So uh, that's kind of where we're at with uh, Inventor of the Year, uh, and we got some big names on yep. this list. Well, fantastic, wonderful tech person. Let's see the nominees. Yikes! A big one. Mm -hmm. Kyle Purnell, our last year's winner. Yep. Last year's winner in this category. Put out some fun pieces here. Craig Petty. There he is again. Yep. Year of the Petty. Yeah, it really was Craig Petty's year. Dr. Cyril Thomas. Mm -hmm. he, he must have been nominated before. Nicholas Lawrence. I think this is the first time we've seen Lawrence in this category, yeah. which is surprising. Yeah. It was kind of just like one thing a year. Yep. Yep. Oh, Roddy yeah. McGee. Last but not least. Okay. And I think this is the first time Roddy. Yeah. Uh, so. I think they went so uh, Roddy has come close. Yeah. Danny's come close. And Nicholas Lawrence I think has come close. Danny's been in there before, I think. I think he was in there last yeah. year for the ACAN thing. I think Nicholas has come close. Nicholas has always had something. It's always just like one there. trick, you know? Yeah. But like they're big. So they're like. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could start off by talking about Nicholas Lawrence. I mean, since we're talking about him, if uh, you want. No, well, let's, let's start with Craig with Petty. The, let's go with the list. Let's talk about Craig Petty. Craig Petty had a heck of a year. Yeah, crazy right. year. So he had some re-releases, which, yeah. which I think still qualify because Chop and Keymaster have been released before, but when they, with this new release, there's like 10 new routines each in them. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not just that he's putting it back out. He's putting it back out because he feels like this new material is worth releasing in this way yeah and at some point what's old is new mm -hmm. you know like i don't know what that is but you know in, internally we kind of almost it's almost yeah. a five-year thing yeah. weirdly and that seems too short but um you know chop was what 2009 yeah. 2010 so this was like a big re-release but apart from chop craig was one of those cats that we kept going like hey what do you think he could do with this because because he was on football Sure, and uh, yeah. And he was on, there was, there was Boombox. Boombox was another one that he was on. Yep. He was also on a lot of other people's products. Like he was on Orphic Plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, some he, other things. There was a bunch of stuff he did with Murphy's. But I mean, Quantum Deck came out this year. Quantum Deck is this year. Yeah. Uh, also, the Craig Petty Live. Cra yeah. <laughs> Craig Petty's Masterclass. Yeah. I mean, uh, and I think. Uh, oh, he did the Alakazam one as well. Yeah. I, and uh, I believe Forecast is also, uh, like it was in his lecture, mm -hmm. but I think he also released it with the 1914. Uh, but also he did Net Tricks. Yep, Net Tricks. And there's a bunch of stuff he released on Net Tricks. Yeah, I mean, it's it, the list goes on and on and on. It feels, and just like every episode yeah. of Magic TV. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things outside of our mm -hmm. network, oh. but he just has been <laughs> uh, nonstop. People are even reminding us in the chat here. Is it Mirage set, uh, the Mirage coin set by Craig Petty with Alt of this year. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, on and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's easy yeah. to uh, see why he's listed here, but not only because of the quantity, but the, but the quality, quality is well. like uh, through the roof because he's got multiple. Mm -hmm. We'll see in a bit. Yeah. Multiple tricks of the year here. So let's uh, let's move on from Craig and uh, head on to over to our next uh, inventor of the year, which is Dr. Cyril Thomas. Yeah. This is another one where it's like this is cat produced a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Every year he's putting out multiple things, and again. He produces, I want to say, you know, I mean, this is an easy comparison, but uh, he produces like Joe Reinfleisch, where he's putting out a project, but that one project will have five different variations yeah. on it. And all of those variations are not like, oh, I'm using a red band and a blue band. It's no, it's, it's you know, here's a way to make a, a million rubber bands do this. And here's a way to make four rubber bands do this. And then you can make a rubber band vanish from here and reappear over there. It's just... It, these these projects are endless from him, and it's all really, really top-notch stuff. Solid, solid stuff. Yeah. Um, he had multiple releases this year mm -hmm. in Abandon, which was at yeah. the top of our of sales and comments, oh, and yeah. just like, I mean, I don't know how any of this stuff works. It looks amazing. Yeah. One day I will sit down and learn the Dr. Cyril oh, uh, library. Band, right? But also the big one that was like, it, it was right on the bubble of certain things was Parasite. That one with the rubber band went in his eye and out yeah. of his nose. Was, was, <laughs> was Multiverse this year or last year? It was last year. Last year. Uh, okay. Like, Multiverse. Like, and there honestly. Because there was a couple when, that came out like towards the end of the year from Dr. Cyril. Yeah. Where I was like, uh, well, I remember having this conversation last year. We were like, did these go in next year or this I year? I know, but when even this year, when you look at the, the sales, mm -hmm. Bander Action, Multiverse, um, there's something else all in the top. That's why I'm thinking of it still, yeah. Like, there's still like best selling tricks from this year mm -hmm. are some stuff that he put out last year and the year before. Yeah. So, like, uh, I mean, it's just piling on top. So, you have Abandoned, Parasite, Holy Trap. That's, oh, that's right. Holy Trap was this year. Mm -hmm. And then Rubber Things. Which was like that. Remember the Stranger Things yeah. themed one? I think yeah. it came out earlier this year. Well, it probably came out when the Stranger yeah. Things season came out. Yeah. Uh, to my knowledge, those are the four like things that he put out this year that at least showed up. Mm -hmm. You 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 know our sales chart there. Like yeah. not everything was on there. It had mm -hmm. to at least sold a, like a little bit yeah. to uh, actually make the list of data that we were mm -hmm. looking at. It's a huge list of data. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so a nice a nice handful of stuff and at least two tricks. That were like high up in yeah. the sales. Yeah, that man's a hit factory. Yeah, uh, and I'm sure the material on Holy Trap and Rubber Things is yeah. also great. It just wasn't uh, uh, at the same level as the other ones. Speaking of hit factories, Nicholas Lawrence is uh, making the list of, uh, of inventors this year. So congratulations on his first nomination. But yeah, this is this is like an unusual one because you would have thought that he would have been on here before, but it's just because of the criteria we put on. Yeah. We put out like one monster thing a year, and he may have put out some I, other. I things. feel like in 2020 he might have been on there, yeah. but like didn't win. Mm -hmm. um, but this year he had two monster hits. Yeah. Uh, in Vanishing Card and Diabolical Bet. Yeah, those were big. Those were both big tricks. Both yeah. big, good, practical tricks. Yep. Yeah, especially in Vanishing Card. We'll be talking about that in just a little bit yeah. because it is definitely one of the tricks of the year. Um, and, and I mean, mm -hmm. just, very creative guy. And you know, he's he's working behind the scenes with a lot of people, doing like he's always helping people here and there, doing some stuff and creating his own things. Oh, he's just he's one of the best inventors, period. Yeah. Like he has been for quite a long time. So it's nice to get him on this list yeah. if he hasn't been nominated before. His um, the inventions he creates are always really fascinating the way they work. I mean, sometimes they're super complex and other times they're really simple, but they're always like they serve a purpose and it's stuff you can do. These are great tricks. Yeah. Uh, so vanishing card, diabolical bet. Both, just, I mean, they were huge tricks yeah. on the list. They're undeniable mm -hmm. hits this year. So uh, congrats to uh, Nicholas Lawrence for the uh, nomination there. Let's move on to... Uh, well, let's talk about that giveaway. Oh, that give year. yeah, let's do talk about that giveaway. Keymaster. Uh, Keymaster is what we're giving away right now. So if you go head over to Penguin Magic's Instagram, there is a, a, a post on there. You need to like it and also tell us your favorite magic creator. And you could be entered in to win Keymaster from Craig Petty. Uh, we'll be giving that away at the end of this section, right before we get to the P3 trick of the year. Let's. Uh, uh, I'm just curious, people's uh, favorite inventors here. Yeah, what are we? Was laced up uh, Keymaster. So uh, let me click on that. Mm -hmm. We have Daryl, Steve Dushek, mm -hmm. Roddy McGee, Brent Braun, Braun. Eugene Berger, Dan Harlan, mm -hmm. Gregory Wilson, another Harlan, Paul Harris, David Regal, Craig Petty, Purnell. Petty, mm -hmm. Lloyd Barnes, 
Greg Wilson. Good names on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of entries here. That's fantastic. So that's very cool. Dan Harlan. A lot of Harlan. Rick Lax. Rick Lax and Craig Petty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so good stuff. Keep them yeah. coming. If you haven't posted yet, uh, make sure you let us know your favorite creator, and you will have a chance to win Keymaster. Let's talk about our next uh, nominee for Inventor of the Year, Danny <laughs> De Ortiz. Now, he is clearly on here because of the projects that he was working on. Obviously, the ACAN project finished up this year, yeah. and we're right in the middle of, we're really closing in on the end of uh, the semi Yeah, is it over? Project. I think it might be over. I think over, it might actually. be over. But semi automatic. <sighs> Like weirdly, I think both of these projects like they span both the both years, but like it's just an absurd amount of yep. tricks that he's been putting out. So I, I watch every one of those. I'm one of the per- people who writes a lot of the ad copy around here, and so when I write the ad copy, I have to watch the demo, but I also have to watch the actual product to make sure that when I tell you in the ad copy what it is, is that I'm not lying to you. So I watch every one of these, and every time I come away learning something new. And it's just one of those where even if there's a similar principle that he may have talked about earlier he's talking about it in a different way because he wants to illustrate a different point and he is really this is not an invention where he's not he's not he's not inventing props but he is inventing principles that are like going to be bedrock for people he won an award at FISM for innovation Mm. because of his contribution to theory yeah and I think it's that's important to note here is that you can be an inventor and you don't have to create a fun toy or a fun gimmick you can be creating really important theory that other magicians will take to heart and use to create their own magic yeah I guess the reason why this category is called inventor of the year is just from the the, on the left sidebar of penguinmagic.com there's always a running list of like who the most popular creators are at the time um, it's just called Inventor over there, so that spilled over into the award show. I mean, maybe one day we change the name, but Inventor, Creator, you yeah. know, all the same in, in my book. It's really who's putting out products um, of value. Yeah. And um, Danny is top of that list. And on top of that, like, just because of that Fool Us performance. Oh, he, that went crazy I mean, viral. it was, that was such a, a strong strong performance and an important video to happen i think i think so too uh, you know, that was one of those i've known who danny is for a long time you know my yeah my girlfriend knows who danny de Ortiz is and she's seen him perform many times but when that video the the foolish video came out i had regular people going have you seen this do you see this and i'm like yeah this is this is what carb magic really is yeah it, it was an important thing for a lot of people mm-hmm. to see it was just great to see mm-hmm. danny kill on, yeah. on TV with his semi-automatic weapons. But it really re-sparked a lot of his previous works. Now, of course, we're not talking about those because we're talking about things that were released last year. But um, well, you, you saw, uh, I was seeing people starting to do stuff from Utopia. Yeah. Again. I mean, it was like, totally, like when you look at the sales data, a lot of his older uh, self-working stuff, like um, uh, Totally Hands Off, or there was an Oil and Water in there. It's just like all these Danny Dare treaties downloads were just littered 100%. in the uh, in the top sales this year so um, yeah we had to we had to nominate them in this category let's move on uh, to someone who is no stranger to this list Kyle <laughs> Purnell one inventor of the year last year mm-hmm. nominated again because you, you want to talk about hip factories Kyle Purnell is is one of them uh, he put one. out all sorts of stuff yeah. this year. so this I mean because what did he have out this yeah, year so brainchild, brainchild. Year, rainbow road big picture stick and twisted cash grab those I mean those yeah, the ones that we know. About. We just burned through them. Yeah, I mean, there's probably more. Um, Brainchild was one of uh, one of the best hit. tricks yeah. on Penguin this year, uh, and uh, just a killer routine. I mean, we'll talk about that trick in depth in just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. Yep. Um, Lightyear, another one that was like Lightyear. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> that was one of those things. And that was another one of those really important things that came out this year because it it took what is essentially a topological mystery turned it into a really cool reveal. Kyle's got a wonderful routine with it, but it made it made people start to think again in what what is a reveal? It sort of changed that that question again. Just killer props. Yeah. Like what it's the those blank slates with holes in them that you yeah. shine your flashlight through to reveal a number mm-hmm. on light year there. Great Just stuff. out of the box thinking and mm-hmm. um, a great product as well. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is one that you should go check out because this is illustrative of Kyle's ability to take props that you already know and handle them in such a new and unique way 
The tunnel transpo on that is, uh, for my money, one of the best transposition like style uh, slights slash routines that has been created in the last 10 years. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, he's just got a way with sleight of hand mm-hmm. and creativity, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he's, you know, to go back to Brainchild, which we will talk more mm-hmm. about, like, same thing kind of goes there where it's creative thinking, but then also not afraid to be doing a move. Yeah. Right? Um, to, to help him accomplish what he's trying to do. I mean, mm-hmm. Brainchild, if you don't know, is a thought of card thought of card at number and the card that they think of has a different color back than the rest of the deck does. we'll talk so, about that more a lot okay. later but uh, let's uh, let's move on from Kyle because uh, we talked about Kyle a lot last year we gotta we gotta give uh, some other people some time to, to talk about uh, let's go to our final inventor of the year Roddy McGee which is always so close to a long time list. coming yeah, yeah yeah so it's good to see Roddy on this list feeling we'll probably see him again on this list next mm-hmm. year as well. Mm-hmm. Kind of looking at the slate of stuff that Roddy's putting out this year. Yeah. But we're here to talk about last year. And he started real strong with um, Coinception. Yeah. Coinception was that you start with nothing and you build a coin, uh, like a piece of a coin, one by one. So it's like a fourth of a coin. Then you turn it into a half of a coin, mm-hmm. three quarters of a coin, and then the full coin. And not only is like the gimmick, it's a cool gimmick that allows you to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not really any sleight of hand with that because you're just like kind of like turning a gimmick. Mm -hmm. Very, very clever. But there's a coin switch in there that's like kind of a new coin move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Which is really cool. I remember, Uh, so we were, we we were working together uh, at a, at a club and we were doing performances and we were doing a radio spot. We're up at like 4.30 in the morning, which is too early for anyone. We're watching this video and Roddy sends this video of doing the move in Coinception. We were both like, well, how does that work? (coughs) It's ridiculous. It was it was crazy. Yeah, it's like when you first learn it, you, mm-hmm. you can't stop doing it, and yeah. like it's kind of kind of knacky, but not. Well, it's like, like rubbing your tummy and patting your head. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't want to do it, but because it's when like you, you already it, know how to do it, but it's like a backwards of a move yeah. that you already do, and it's it's very cool. Also, in that particular release, Roddy's got a using the coinception gimmick. Roddy teaches a really wonderful uh, bite and restore coin, which is absolutely worth your attention. Even if you're not going to do the uh, slow motion coin assembly, you should look at the coin bite because it's also very good. Yeah. But Roddy had his hand in a bunch of stuff these uh, today. So like Xerox was his. This yeah. is a, a really fascinating <laughs> handling of the like Presto what Printo wild style routine. thing. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a light that sort of comes from nowhere, sort of like a Xerox light. Yeah, blank cards yeah. print into like the spectator's thought of card. Mm-hmm. It's two people are thinking of cards and it like this light that comes from nowhere is like printing uh, the card that they're thinking of, and then you get to print this like wild double card yeah. at the end, which is like a mash of like the two people's thought of cards. Uh, very cool mm-hmm. routine and um, different. I mean, lo- mm-hmm. you don't see card tricks with like lights. No. Although Kyle Purnell would have something to say, you know, like with, you know, yeah. although it's a number trick. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. Um, and then uh, sticker t- kicker. St- sticker kicker. Yeah. One of the best tricks of the year. Oh, I love it. It's one of my favorite releases. Um, that trick's so good. Yeah, I feel like that one is a trick that is like going to only increase in popularity. As mm-hmm. I feel like it kind of flew under the radar when it first came out, mm-hmm. and then like kind of took a sharp turn up. Yeah, uh, towards the end of the year. Hundred um, percent. That is such a cool, awesome trick. It's one of my favorite like new plots that's out. So that was created by Jamie Williams, and then Roddy McGee refined the handling. Yep. and uh, really turned it into a powerhouse. Yeah, and it's just. We'll talk about Sticker Kicker a little bit later. Yep. Uh, but also TNT. TNT, mm-hmm. which is a wild torn or restored card. Yeah. It's, it's just another one of those like Roddy things. Yeah, you definitely. fold the card in half, you tear out the center of it. Mm-hmm. So you have a hole in the card, and then you're able to take that center. And you can, there's various ways to do it, but you can like lay it on the card backwards and then visibly restore it and then hand it, away, hand it out. It's and there's ways to get it signed and total madness. Total yep. madness. Uh, TNT from Roddy McGee. Um, yeah, all great tricks from Roddy. And I, I mean, obviously Roddy's just one of the best creators ever. Little Door, I, it was still in like the top in sales this year, so. Well, we have a winner for Keymaster. Yeah, uh, not the Inventor of the Year. That's gonna happen at the end of the month. We, okay, have, we have a winner for the giveaway. Uh, the winner of Keymaster is Eric Elmore. That is at A-R-I-C 6785. Arik's favorite creator is Kyle Purnell. He loves Brainchild. Well, congratulations, Arik. Uh, go ahead and message the Penguin Magic Instagram. You'll get in touch with Josh, and he will get your copy of Keymaster 
headed out your way. Man, that's a big trick to win. That is a big trick to win. I mean, that's win. what does that cost too? It's 60 bucks? Yeah, it's it's a it's a big one. Yeah, same with laced up. Laced yep. up was also uh, um, we we gave away a laced up earlier. So mm-hmm. if you're just joining us, we also gave away a brainchild and sticker kicker. And we are about to give away. Is this the final? This is the final giveaway. This is the final giveaway. We're about to give away Color Sync by David Jonathan. It's a fantastic trick. Uh, it's sort of the ESP matching plot trick, but in this you've got five different cards. The spectator can mix up their uh, their five different colored cards, hand them to you one at a time, and then when you spread the cards, immediately, by the way, there's no moves, all of the colors match up. There's no moves, there's no slights, it just works. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and it also, it takes the ESP matching trick off the table, you can do it in their hands, and it moves it up here, which is really great. Fantastic. So the way you have to do that is tell uh, is go to Penguin Magic, and uh, you have to go to the Penguin Magic Instagram page, sorry, the Penguin Magic Instagram page, and tell us your favorite trick uh, this year to win color syncs. Mm. There's, a, there's a post there, you'll see which one it is. Like that post and comment in there your favorite trick to win this year. So we are here rattling off the nominees for uh, the Penguin Magic Awards, which will be airing January 27th. Mm-hmm. After this live stream, which is, we're getting close to the end here, but we probably have about another hour to go or so, yep. just close to an hour. Yeah, we got two more categories. Yeah, two they're more categories, categories, but they're big. Um, so after this live stream, voting will become live. Mm. You'll be able, uh, just follow Penguin Magic on all the things, and you'll 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 be able to find this thing, and you'll be able to vote uh, on all these different categories. So one we just covered, the Metro of the Year. Congrats to Craig Petty, Dr. Cyril Thomas, Nicholas Lawrence, Danny Ortiz, Kyle Purnell, and Roddy McGee. They've all been nominated for Inventor of the Year, and you'll be able to go vote on who you think should win. Someone someone go tell those guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If they, if they don't know. Again, we know, none, of, none of these people knew ahead of time. So we're breaking news at yep. this point. So um, we should move on to the next category. Yes. We're going to be talking about the P3 Trick of the Year. So yeah. this is a physical product category. It has some, to qualify for this category, it had to come out through Penguin Magic. This is another way for us yeah. to celebrate all of the fantastic creators we work with all year. Had to be physical, had to come out this year. And this is, I mean, we're talking about tricks that are sold on Penguin Magic. Yep. So this is one of the biggest categories mm-hmm. because, like, I mean, obviously we sell a lot of our stuff, but to be honest, we've put out a lot of stuff last year. Uh, we did. Uh, so actually, if you go listen to the podcast, that's go to podcast.penguinmagic.com. Just yesterday, our year in review aired. And yeah, you God. and I talked it's through like roughly forty-three tricks. 40, or Forty-four. Forty-four. Forty-four tricks we yeah. talked to that were all physical products that could have qualified for the P3 trick of the year. Right. It, it was normally we try and keep them half-hour episodes. This one clocked in at just over an hour. And like this category has only increased yeah. over the years because because this has become our. Our thing. Yeah. You know, it used to be like the download category was where we were at, but it's it they've they've crisscrossed at nope. this point. Um, so and you know, nobody I don't think I, I I don't think I'm saying anything incorrect here when I say nobody put out more magic than we did last year. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think it's possible. I mean like I maybe it's possible. The but only like, person I can think of that put out more magic maybe than Craig, us Petty. Is Craig Petty. Yeah. But um <laughs> so in, just by saying that, it's like mm-hmm. these are some of everybody's favorite tricks this year. Yeah. But these are specifically things that came out of this studio. Yeah. So um it's a little bit of an in house award, but it's almost becoming just as popular as trick of the year, in my opinion, at this point. So, Let's get to it. Yeah. Well, fantastic and amazing tech person, please let us reveal the nominees for the P3 Magic Trick of the Year. Oh man. There you go. There he is again. He Master. Right there. Yep, Brainchild, Call for now. Now these guys are starting to show up more, right? Laced up by Donovan Mount. No surprise. A little late sneak in there, but it was so good. I'm so happy to see this one on there. Sticker kicker. I was worried people weren't gonna know. Oh, of course. Vanishing card. Big hit. Color sync by David Jones. Yeah. Yeah, he was right on the bubble. Adventure of the year, um, mm-hmm. but anyway, 
Man, let's, I don't know how you choose a winner in this category, I honestly. I'm going to be fascinated to see what happens. Let's let's go through them in order here. Uh, let's start with Keymaster. Oh, but we name. should mention that uh, there was a theme here to the giveaways. Oh, and the giveaway All was... All the giveaways the were the P3 things in this category. So, yeah. Um, yeah, congrats to everybody that won. Uh, and we do still have that giveaway up right yeah. now for ColorSync. So head on over to Instagram and, and drop a comment there. Yeah, I love that the chat's going crazy right now. Chat, like, like Hungry, uh, which we, we love having you in the chat, Hungry. Hungry's in here saying laced up wins hands down. Dylan Young's in here just saying, you know, it's got to be There's David a lot Jonathan. Of fans. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Rob Sheridan uh, pumping for Vanishing Card. We got, I mean, well, there still is Trick of the Year category after this. There is. Trick of the Year is anything Dang. that's sold on penguins so uh there's a lot of duplicates yeah. from this category to the next mm -hmm. so yeah we'll you know we'll talk about it when we get there but let's start with Keymaster from craig petty Keymaster from craig petty so this is a little bit of a re-release but it's also got a bunch of updates to it so in the original Keymaster, you just got three <laughs> keys there was uh a key with a normal a hole in it key with two holes in it and then a key with a hole in the stem in this new product you also get the additional blank key which was actually kind of hard to make well that. yeah so like and that's another reason like this category is a little bit of a homegrown category mm -hmm. these are the best tricks that sold mm -hmm. of the things that we have but we also took some liberty here based on like we had to you know this was a challenge to make this yeah right so like do you have any idea how hard it is to make <laughs> trick keys yeah. so but um yeah craig, Pe craig petty's been doing this trick for a long time because he released it a while ago but he came to us or we we went to him and we were like hey have you ever thought about putting keymaster back out and he said yes but only if we can add this you know extra blank key and the all these other routines because mm -hmm. again this is, th yes, this is a re-release, but this is just as much a brand new product because there's so many new routines on here. Yeah, and I mean, gimmick. and this is one of those I wasn't aware of yep. before, before Craig coming out. Um, Great trick. Uh, so they come uncut, right? Yep. So they can put them on your own keys. That's I can't the, remember if you just said that. Yeah, well, that, well, I didn't say that, but they do come uncut. So you can be doing magic with your house key. Yeah. And it's a moving whole plot. So you can just have this in your pocket at any time. He teaches, it says 10 routines taught on there, but it's probably more like 110. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, like there's uh, some ring on string stuff in yeah, here. Yeah, very there's strong. Some, there's some like, you can swap out a lot of coin tricks for this as well. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's killer and stuff. live performances. I mean, you yeah. see these reactions that you're going to be able to get off of mm -hmm. Keymaster. It's a it's a great great set and mm -hmm. routine and a piece of magic. And we were proud to be able to produce this last year. Yeah. Um. And like just to say, like Chop was one of our best selling tricks last year. Mm -hmm. But like just because not that Chop isn't modern wonder of innovation. Yeah. But it was just like. Well, you know, yeah. there was a lot more that went into making the, the Keymaster product. Mm -hmm. So, a Chop is going to get his due uh, mm -hmm. in the next category. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, yes, Keymaster is on here. It is a re release, but I think that based on the numbers and the a lot of the innovation that went into putting it out, it I think it qualifies as a new trick. Yeah. Um, let's move on, though, to uh, Sticker Kicker by Jamie Williams and Roddy McGee. This is one of my favorite releases this year. If you've never <laughs> seen this, this is sort of lives in that, like, bar bet world uh, with, that turns into a magic trick. So you have a, a deck of cards, someone picks a card, and then you hand them a uh, round white sticker. And you put the round, you have them, you say, you have to get it as close to the center of the back of the card as possible. They put it on there themselves, then you have them sign the face of the card, and then you ask them to remove the stick from the back of the card. And when they can't remove the white sticker, and you see what they do, they peel the entire back of it off. Because yeah. their brain short circuits when they do this, because they go to peel that sticker, and their nail like can't get under it correctly. Yeah, because yeah, it's 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 not a sticker, it's the back of the card, right? Yeah. Like it's And the and the, you sh I should also say the this when you're peeling off the entire back of the sticker, that is reusable. Yeah, it is. I mean, you can reuse it a number. I of was times. shocked how many times you can reuse it because, like, yeah. I, I'm putting these. We're both putting these situations mm -hmm. where you have to demonstrate this stuff behind a booth every now and then, mm -hmm. and and it's like unreasonable magic actually because yeah. like you you have to learn how to reset things in mm -hmm. ways that you would never have to learn how to reset because you're doing it for magicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe how yeah. how many times you could reuse the same sticker. Uh, a lot of times I will only use one sticker and yeah. do it. I don't know a hundred times. Yeah. Um, so you're peeling it off in a way that. A, allows it to be reused, but there was some work that got done to make sure that it was a temporary adhesive yeah. that sticks to the card uh, so that it stays on there like fully adhered, but well, when it peels off, it doesn't like cause a big gunky gross mess. And that comes back to, I mean, one of our best-selling tricks this year, no doubt. Mm -hmm. um, however, 
it was like a challenge to make yeah. as well. Like getting those types of stickers done with the perfect circle size and like it, you know, there was a lot that went into that. Any, um, anyone could have made that, but making it so that the stick, the whole, getting the hole in the sticker and the target sticker the, the same size, bigger challenge than you would think. But also the getting the color correct. Yeah. Um, and, and like it's as good as it can be. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, this is one of the best tricks. Mm -hmm. I, and I said it when it first came out, I still think there's like innovation to come with mm -hmm. this routine. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's cracked the actual routine to do with this. Yeah. I think we're close to it. Yeah. There's great, because you can also write on the back of that card. Mm -hmm. you, can rev you can have hidden information underneath that sticker. Um, I've seen some people play around with it, but I feel like it just needs to fall into the right hands and mm -hmm. somebody's gonna be like, here is the golden routine for, <laughs> for Sticker Kicker. I love yeah. all the routines that are out there, oh, yeah. but every time I'm, I'm doing it, I'm like, there's something else, there's some other presentation for this, and I don't know what it is, and it's, um, get it, it I, it's one of my, I, it may be, might be my favorite trick of the year, mm, maybe. Yeah, yeah it's maybe. super good. Oh, we haven't even been like, I know we asked for the, for the deck of the year, but like, mm. we, we kind of, maybe we'll do it at the end, yeah. like your picks. Oh yeah, yeah like our like, picks. Our picks have nothing yeah. to do with the overall outcome of this. Nope. So like, I, I don't really. I th we gave picks last year, didn't we? I think we did. I think we did. Yeah. I think we did. Yeah. Well, we don't want to influence the vote. We'll do it at the end. Yeah. We'll give our picks at the end. Uh, let's move on from sticker kicker to one that everyone is going crazy yeah. about by our buddy Donovan Mount, laced up. Now this one. Okay, so first of all, Donovan Mount lives in Columbus. We've known him for a long time. Yeah. And he's had this in his back pocket. Yeah, it's like, what? How? What? This, yeah. I remember we got the email mm -hmm. where, with, you know, somebody was demonstrating, because I don't think his face was in the, e nope. in the video that we saw initially. I think it was just a shoe, right? Yeah. And I was like, I have no idea how that works. Yeah. And then it was, I was like shocked to find out what was Donovan. Not because he's not a good magician. I just didn't know that, like, mm -hmm. he created magic. I, I probably never saw him do a trick, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of like old Penguin lives where you can see Donovan just kind of hanging out. In the yeah, back. yeah. But I look, he used to come to a lot of the mentalism lectures, yeah. so he might be in like some of those. So look at this thing. So he's got. So you borrow a ring. God, who hasn't seen this at this so point? The borrowed ring goes on the bottom rung of the shoelace. <laughs> you move the bow from the top of your shoes to the bottom of the shoes. You untie your shoes, unthread the ring, hand it off, tie your shoes back up, and then this is. I'm, I'm filming this video. It's and so I, I stupid. hear the guy go, yeah, move okay, it up to the can top. you move it up back up to the top? And Donovan goes, yeah, and he does. And it's then so stupid. he unties it again at the request of the guy. And it just this does, is, it's nuts. This is going to win trick of the year, isn't oh, it? Like, I think so. Just because of the sheer, like, yeah. it's just unlike anything else. Yeah. And you, you, like, just by watching it, a lot of times when we talk about tricks, I have to tell you that sticker trick kicker's a good trick, right? Yeah. I have to, like, force it down <laughs> in your brain that sticker kicker's a good trick. Yeah. This, I don't think anybody, you just watch this and you know, like, yeah. oh, crap, I want to do that, yeah. you know? Um, it's, like, all you want to do. Yeah, no, I, it really is. So, in a, one of the, I mean, it just came out at the end of the year. Yeah. So, even... And you, shot up the Shot charts. up the charts. Yeah. But also, you know... A challenging thing to produce as well. Yes, um, very difficult. We yeah. worked all year to get this. Ready. The gimmick is simple. Yeah. Um, when you get it, you're you're gonna understand what's going on, mm -hmm. and once you get it installed in your shoe, you can do it all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, we had to make this right. Yeah, and I'm. I, this is one of those that I was like mm -hmm. not nervous to read the comments because I know it's a good trick, but I was like. Patiently waiting to see the response to laced up. Yeah, um, we know how hard we work on this. Yeah, and we know that we get things as, as as good as possible. And you know, I like to think when people ask me about Penguin, I like to think that I say we these days I don't think we make very many mistakes. When we do, we tend not to make the same mistake twice. Yeah, but laced up, I think we got right. And we're also in a position now that if if something is incorrect. Uh, you might not realize it, but it we, is being corrected yeah. in the pipeline. Um, there's some examples of some things that are mm -hmm. like actively changing right now that like, I, I just, there's a, you know, in magic in the, in the history, Say when. You are, back. you're back now. Great. Sorry about that. Our internet just died here in Columbus, but uh, apparently we are back live again, and I will be joined shortly 
with Eric. We, uh, we went down while we were talking about the P3 trick of the year, which we'll get back to. We're talking about laced up, but uh, there is a giveaway going on right now. Uh, we are giving away, this is the last giveaway of the day. We are giving away Color Sync by David Jonathan. And to enter that, all you got to do is head on over to Instagram and you'll see a pinned post right at the top, Win Color Sync by David Jonathan. Um, and what do you have to do to win Color Sync? Uh, you got to go to Instagram. I know, yeah, but what do you have to post? Uh, you got to post your favorite, favorite trick. trick. Favorite trick of yep. the year um, to win Color Sync. So uh, head on over to Instagram. Sorry, I needed a bottle of water, so I used my mental powers to sabotage the internet. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we have been talking for quite a bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we have a giveaway going. It's the last one. We'll be giving it away at the end of this, uh, after we're done talking about the next three nominees for P3 Trick of the Year. But also, um, and I, I figured I'd just mention this because I know we had sent out the email <clears throat> about the stream. Yeah. Um, now through Thursday, January 12th, mm -hmm. there's three gifts added to your order for all physical orders over, well, over 50. You get the double facer issue of Penguin Magic Monthly. Oh, yeah. Um, with six tricks. Mark Elsden has some stuff in there, which is mm -hmm. awesome. I'm, where's Mark Elston been? We need some new Mark Elston stuff. Yeah, we really do. Well, I guess there's some new stuff in the Penguin Magic Monthly. Yeah. Uh, and then all physical orders over $100 get the limited edition of the Continuum Playing Cards. Oh, yeah. Which is one of the, uh, the uh, top, uh, trip, top decks of the year. Decks of the year, yeah. Continuum Cards. So, I love them. You should check so, them out. So, uh, yeah, add some of these things yeah. to your cart. Um, because, uh, yeah, Let, anyway. Let's move on to uh, Vanishing Card uh, for the P3 Trick of the Year. Vanishing Card by Nicholas Lawrence. This is, this is a one with an interesting history. Because... Yeah. Crazy history. Lawrence was doing this at Magic Live, and people were like, what kind of witchcraft is that? Yeah, it's the date would be on that video that yeah. we just saw there. I, I missed it. But this is what, like 2016? Yeah. And then Something he, like that? Then he posts it on the internet. Yeah. And uh, he po he posts it on, on uh, Instagram. And then you see a bunch of people release the way they think it works. Yeah, and it wasn't the same method. It wasn't the same method at all. Because when this came out, there were a lot of people like, oh, you're stealing it from this. And it was like, no, no, this no. is the OG. This is the original one. Yeah, I, I, it's crazy to me that this came out this year. Yeah. Uh, it, it did come out this year, it, finally. It and came out at Blackpool. I, I Completely sold out at Blackpool. It's got a long, long history, a long story. We were actually very close to releasing it the previous year, mm -hmm. but then we stopped everything because he said, hey, wh what do you think about this? And he added an additional gimmick where you could like open your hands at yeah. the very beginning of it. Yeah. And it freaked everyone out. So we stopped, we remade it. Uh, it comes made in a beautiful plastic gimmick that is yeah, super think durable, that, super really easy to do. I think that's what a lot of people don't realize. It's, mm -hmm. it, the gimmick is, like you said, plastic. It's, yeah. So it's not, it's gonna last you forever. It's also like, and it doesn't make any sense if you don't know how it works, but it's magnetic. Yeah. So like you're not manipulating anything. Mm -hmm. It's just things are sliding into place. Yeah. Uh, so it's very easy to do. It's more of a like a, a mime move that you yeah. have to learn. You have to learn how to like keep the card in one place and move your elbow up. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was one of those things that we both got a hold of it like right before Blackpool, and they were like, "You'll be selling this trick." And so we we went we worked in the hotel room and. We got pretty good at it, it in, is in like an hour. Addictively and fun to play with. By you, the end of the convention, we were like making things vanish left, right, and yeah. center. It was really cool. It's one of those tricks that you just do in the mirror all the time. Yep. Um, and I'm like, I'm trying to get it into my my show still because mm -hmm. it's just it's just a beautiful way. There's not a lot of ways to make a card vanish. Nope. A single card vanish is a hard thing to find, yeah. um, and this is a great way to do it. So it comes with the vanishing card, comes with an extra something that you can do that can take advantage of certain qualities of, uh, you know, if you're familiar with, you know, artistic, I'm not trying to think about the way to say this. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 yeah, it's cool. You it's got it a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a great trick, and it's doable. You can do it. Yep. I know a lot of people, that's like one of the mm -hmm. questions, like, uh, no, you, you it, is, it. it is a thing you can do. Let's move on uh, from Nicholas Lawrence to Kyle Purnell and Brainchild. This is one of the monsters of the year. This is one of those like well thought out tricks. This routine, routine that you can like throw in your bag. You'll be able to do it. Uh, I, it's it's so good. I mean, when you describe this effect, it is thought of card at number, where the card that they think of ends up with a different color back, and you can end completely clean. It's examinable at the end. Yeah. 
You don't. You, there is a version where you don't end clean, but there is a version where you do end clean. Yeah, and it's yeah. not terribly difficult to. No, end clean. yeah. There's one move there that that it would allow you to end clean, but it's like within the course of routine, it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, and like I mentioned before, Kyle's not afraid of a little sleight of hand, um, and neither should you be. Uh, but this <laughs> trick, it's a beater, man. Especially, yeah. I did this trick a lot earlier this year. And it is so super strong. Mm -hmm. So it's thought of card, which means it's not like you ask them to think of card. You, you, you go through the cards one at a time. You have them look at one or remember one. And then you ask them questions. I, I think one of the things I loved about the card at number aspect of this is like you're asking them questions, mm -hmm. not like, hey, name, name a number between 1 and 52. It's more mm -hmm. like, hey, uh, you think about the month you were born and mm -hmm. you deal down that many cards. And you ask them another question or another question. And you can kind of customize that. Yeah. Um, so, but I think I think Kyle's got the right right path for this routine. It's one of those. This is one of those tricks that is not only fun to do and you know gets jaw dropping reactions, but when you learn it, you get a real look inside of Kyle Purnell's brain. It's which is it's a wild place to be. But <laughs> I, I can't imagine creating this trick. Myself. No, no, yeah, because uh, like when you when you learn the secret, mm -hmm. you'll be like, okay, he must have started at this. Mm -hmm. the way that you get the card yeah right but then like the ability to then take it further mm -hmm. and say wait a minute no let's make these cards have a different back yeah. and like change the color of the deck like it's a total total another level um this is a powerful routine yeah it's smart thinking and i was glad to see that it was one of the best selling tricks of the year oh yeah hundred um, percent for sure i yeah because like it could have been it, it was interesting to see that that Brainchild was on top of Lightyear mm -hmm. out of cut. Yeah, that was one that surprised me because I felt like Lightyear was one of the best things that Kyle has ever created. Because when you and it, it, might, it might be very 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 be might be think, one of the things he created. I think people might be sleeping on it a little bit because it's one of those where they don't quite know. They they get a little hung up on the routine and not the or they get a little hung up on the fact that like. The, you're reeling a number, and the routine is basically write down any two-digit number, and then you'll reveal what yeah. it is. Um, yeah, but I mean, the reveal is so good. Yeah, I mean, it's just the difference between these awards and, like, for example, I know Craig Petty had Lightyear at, I think, number three yeah. uh, in his trick of the year, uh, but that's opinion, yeah. right? This was just, um, well, I mean, it's not our opinion, it's the community's opinion yeah. with their uh, I mean, voting, I'm, with their comments I'm, in their wallets. I'm looking here in the chat. Sticky says, I thought Lightyear would be Brainchild. I mean, like we did too. It, yeah, uh, but if, when you look at the data, it's mm -hmm. just more more people had things to say about Brainchild um, and more people purchased yeah. like Brainchild. Uh, Pepsi Addict on the, the chat saying, uh, the ending sleight of hand actually does scare me, LOL. I've never done it and spectators never care. It looks so fair. I mean, that is a good point. I mean, the version of Brainchild where you don't need to do the little bit I mean, of sleight of hand is, is just as good. That's the thing. We, you know, you can just spread that deck on the table and not worry. We, I mean, you all know you can. Yeah. I mean, it's just when it comes to, comes to, I, I guarantee you Kyle does it that way all the time. He oh, probably doesn't even bother like doing the steal because it's like, we all oh, know that no. you, you know Kyle does the steal. Yeah. Kyle maybe. likes to show off. Maybe. Maybe, but it's not hard. No. I do it in front of magicians all the time. I probably get caught all the time in front of the magicians, but um, it's, uh, Man, it's, it, it is one of my favorite tricks of the year. You know, uh, Snappy's got a really good point here, too, uh, in the chat. Brainchild has a very quick reset. It's a fantastic trick for through and through. This is, I mean, it, again, it sort of gets back to, like, this is one of Kyle's thousand timers because yeah. he does this in restaurants and bars, mm -hmm. and he's got to be able to reset it quickly. Mm -hmm. But we should move on to Color Sync by David Jonathan. This is a cool trick. Very cool trick. Yeah, smart, smart routine and a great product. This was... Uh, I saw a little bit of the story behind the filming of this is that the uh, the night that we had David Jonathan in town to film this was the night that OSU played Notre Dame, and it was a giant football game. And so that's why you're seeing so much OSU red <laughs> in here. But we were out on the OSU campus doing this trick to college person after college person to business person after business person. Every one of them freaks out. This is just... A wild trick. If you're familiar with the ESP matching plot, you know how strong that that plot is. But this one kicks it up because with ESP cards, a little bit you have to explain what they are and you sort of have to reveal the full faces. With this, 
we're dealing with colors. Yeah. Everyone can. Everyone immediately understands what the color is and the fact that the colors match. It's just it's one of those that it shortens that time from understanding what happened to reaction and makes the reaction that much better. There's so many great things to say about this trick because I'm a big fan of the matching plot yep. of like five card match tripe tricks. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that we it doesn't suck about them. It's just mm -hmm. like a lot of times you you do it with playing cards. Yeah. It doesn't have to be playing cards. It can literally be anything, right? So I'm all, I'm always a fan of like replacing any kind of trick that doesn't need to be a card trick in my set. I do matching trick all the time, mm -hmm. um, and this because the other other options are like ESP cards, yep. tarot cards. Yep. So like if you're a magician, that's why you do it with playing cards. Mm -hmm. But with these color cards, it makes a whole lot more sense. You also get a version, so you're getting two versions here, one in his hands, so you can just do this walk around, it resets, mm -hmm. but then there's a table version that, like, is stupid clean. Yeah. It's like, the way, like, I, I think... The table version is, look, like, how a regular, like, ESP matching with ESP symbols should work. And look, we have to do dumb things to, to sell you people magic. Not only because <laughs> we want you to buy this trick, but... It is a good trick, and I want you to know that it's a good trick. Yeah. But if that's why the the in the hands version is featured in this video, mm -hmm. right? Because it just it makes it look like it, it's that's the predominant way that people want to perform is just in the hands. It yeah. almost is seen as a negative sometimes that you have mm -hmm. to do things on the table. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, uh, the table version of this the, the table it, one literally looks like this. Be better. Yeah. It's like he he puts <laughs> his five cards out, and then you put your five cards on top of his. You turn it all over, everything matches. Yeah, it's stupid. It's it's the it's the Grail version yeah. to do uh, the matching trick. There's another thing that you can do with this, which is it's a prediction. He has a uh, he has oh, a photo yeah. of the cards in a pattern, and it, you 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 take turns laying them down, and when you turn it over, nothing matches. But you turn on the prediction, and they just the completely the complete order. Of the way you put the cards down matches the pretty. It's just another like great way to do it. Yeah, um, killer, killer trick. Great props. Speaking of that trick, we have a winner for Color Sync oh. from the giveaway. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's isn't that funny? That's the we ended on Color Sync and now we're going to give it away. That's not funny. We did that on purpose. No, I didn't do that on purpose. We, are, just... we are professionals. <laughs> this is on purpose. The winner of Color Sync is Patrick Talzma. Uh, at Patrick's.61. That's at P A T R I X.61. Patrick Salma. Go ahead and uh, message uh, Josh Birch on Instagram. Well, sorry, message us, Penguin Magic, uh, Penguin Magic Shop on Instagram. You'll get in touch with Josh Birch. He will make sure that Color Sync finds its way out to you. Thank you so much. And that brings us to yeah. the trick of the year. Yeah, so I guess. We get there. Yeah. We talk about the voting. Well, yeah. Congrats to Craig Petty, Jamie Williams, mm -hmm. Freddie McGee, Donovan Mount, Nicholas Lawrence, Kyle Purnell, David Jonathan in yep. the last category there. Uh, we are here, and if you're just joining us, I'm sure you probably know what we're doing, but we're, we're talking about the nominees for the Penguin Magic Awards, which will be airing January 27th. Mm -hmm. uh, these are just the nominees, so we're going to let you vote on who the winners are. And that voting will start right after we are done telling you our Trick of the Year mm -hmm. nominees, which is coming up next year. Uh, so that voting will be going for a week. Once we uh, get the vote in, we'll start making the show, and it will air on the 27th. Yep. So um, we're very, very excited. Uh, and now we're going to get to Trick of the Year. Unlike the rest of our categories, there's six nominees in every category. This one, we have ten. Yep. And these nominees come from across the, this the is just, whole world of magic. This Everything is the best that came stuff. Out. Best stuff on Penguin. Everything that came out on Penguin, you know, whether we produced it here at the P3 Magic Studios or it was produced by all of the wonderful magic creators out there, be they big production houses like Murphy's or uh, independent creators as well. Yeah, uh, and it, I mean, it's not just sales. It is yeah. uh, con like, you know, there's no one-star products <laughs> on yeah. here, right? Yeah. Uh, it's so, sales, it's reviews, it's artistic yeah. merit, it's the buzz we you saw know, online. To, uh, come with everything you know, need yeah. to do and all yeah. that stuff. So yeah. these are th this is uh, there's a lot of stuff that went into this, and there's some really cool things here. So super fantastic, amazing tech person, please reveal the nominees for Trick of the Year. And obviously we're gonna see some duplicates here. So Keymaster, Craig Petty, no surprise there. Yep. Orphan. Oh, I 
Lewis the ball in 1914. Craig Petty also on that down low. Bill. Laced up by Donovan Mountain again. Not a surprise this week. Yeah, what we got here? We have Quantum Jack, another. There he is again. Craig Petty. Craig Petty. Congrats, Craig. Vanishing card. Yeah, I was glad to see him. Sonata, a late, a late one here, but man, you can see the maestro in the top. Grappling like him and Anderson. Very cool. This is a really cool trick. This came out weird. Like, there he is again, Chop. I mean, Chop is. One of our biggest tricks. Didn't make big tricks for like a flip. Oh, that was a huge trick. Massive, massive trick. Those are the tricks of the year. Interesting. Crazy list. Yeah. So yeah. A lot of stuff that Penguin produced on here, but some stuff that we Yeah, how many did how many did we uh, let's see. That's not us. Uh, you know, but like, that's not us, that's there's a couple of us. things that could you could argue that these are re releases, but re even re releases can make it into the trick of the year because yeah. if, it's re if it was re released this year and enough people wanted it, well, that's I mean, just it the, created a huge buzz. That's the line that we that, that we have to walk here, yeah. Because, um, and you know, yeah, well, so anyway, it has been out for a while, but it was you know, it was reprinted this year and a deluxe edition came out. But let's get into it. Uh, so let's let's see which one we're going to talk about first here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the the lower thirds graphic. Past, present, future is the one we're going to talk about first. Okay. Uh, so past, present, future. This is this is another matching trick, but it's a ma matching with tarot cards. Uh, well, no, it's not a matching trick. This is a triple prediction. Oh, you're right. Triple um, prediction. I'm yeah. Sorry. So like you're basically you have you, you show the spectator that you've written on the backs of three cards, mm -hmm. the past, present, and future, and then uh, but you're not going to tell them which ones, and you shuffle the deck, and they choose three tarot cards face up, and yep. they just happen to choose the ones that say past, present, and future on it. But along the way, you give them a reading, and uh, this is super powerful. Uh, yeah. This is this is also uh, like a re-release. Yeah. But again, but when, not really. When it um, came out, it was, it, we came back out, it was huge. But yeah. also there's a lot of new stuff here. There's new artwork. There's new there's artwork, new, new deck, which new is deck. why yeah. I didn't kind of, like this could have easily made P3 trick of the year. Yeah. But because it was just kind of like, like chop, like, mm -hmm. it, you know, anyway. Yeah. Whereas um, like with Keymaster, there's a lot of like genuine innovation and new stuff going in there. With this one, it, not quite as much. There's some innovation. And, and we yeah. could have we could have had it in both categories, mm -hmm. but it was like we don't have to have it in there. We can open yeah. it up to some some you give, give some other people a chance there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, past, present, future, man, uh, just one of the strongest tricks that I've done in the last couple mm -hmm. of years. I mean, I've always known it's strong. Yeah. But I was very excited to work on this because. It made me go out and do t tarot readings for people, mm -hmm. which is always just a crazy thing to do. It, it, you don't have to be a tarot reader to no. do this trick. Um, it's in the, within the reach of any. I think yeah. it was like, but look at the among reactions. the top five tricks this year. Look at the reactions this thing gets. Oh, I mean, it's, it's all over the place. I you mean, make people cry. Yeah, <laughs> you get like you can take a lot of tricks and get that like you know, oh my god, crazy freak out. But like you can have people have genuine emotional reactions yeah. to this trick, which is something. Almost even more powerful. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, there's tears in the in this in this video here. Um, it it means something to people. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's crazy what people will tell you when you replace a deck of cards with a tarot deck in your hand. Yeah, they will just open right up to you. It's 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 kind of wild. This trick was originally great. It's it, I this, it's the same routine that uh, Rick originally taught, except that the cards now are like mm -hmm. a little bit bigger. Yeah, um, the visibility on them is better. Like because the contrast between the writing on the back design. Mm -hmm. We also worked with one of our favorite artists mm -hmm. um, on all of the art on it and took it, like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I prefer the old art and stuff. It kind of pigeonholed you into being more of a spooky performer yeah. with the old art because it was like a kind of like an antique looking, like, mm -hmm. it's more of an evil looking deck. Yeah. This one, we went for just like something kind of right down the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, so that sort of like a Rider Waite style tarot deck. The like, old one was, yeah. was like in that Rider Waite um, era, but it, it was like, it was, it was really crazy. aged. Yeah. Yeah. It was aged. Yeah. So it was a little harder to read on the back, and but... Other than that, um, everything's the same, and the, the tutorial is awesome. Yeah. And it's what a great trick, uh, complete product. This is one of those that, like we're really proud of here at yeah. Penguin because it's just so good. Well, up next we've got Quantum Deck.
by Craig Petty. Uh, Quantum Jack was, this was a huge uh, trick. It took to start the world the by year. storm at the this beginning was, of the year. Everyone had this. So this is Craig Petty's take on card at number. You got a blank deck of cards. You tell somebody the seven of diamonds is in there. And you tell them it's their job to tell you what position it's at. They tell you a position. Free choice. Yep. You count down. The card that they uh, they named was at that position. Yep. And then the cool thing is you can hand the deck out. Now I think that this got uh, this got has some controversy around it because uh, the method well, might not fool a magician. Uh, the method a magician might uh, feel it in their hands. But having held one of these d uh, decks in my hand, like. I think you could. I think you could hand this to a lot of lay people and get away with it. It was hard to not have this yep. in the trick of the year category. It was big. Um, it's either weirdly five star review or one, one star, star review. review. Yeah. And so ultimately, we were like, you know what? Like, there's nothing wrong with the trick. No. Um, it, it, it's a great trick, and it <laughs> and fooled everybody at the beginning of the year. I, so I've seen um, people do variations on this trick without, like, that were inspired by this mm. that don't use the. Uh, the the gimmick and to me that tells me the effect that this trick had on the community is that they said okay the gimmick is neat you can do some cool stuff with it that is that is a, a, an interesting idea what if I wanted to do this without the gimmick and so I think it has a lot of merit across the board yeah yeah uh, it, it's a great great trick great yeah. product and obviously a great instructor there mm -hmm. Craig always over delivers when it comes to instructions. It's like a two hour download. Yeah, I don't even like... remember what else is on there, but yeah. there's all sorts of stuff on there. But uh, it was one, I mean, one might have been the, the best selling track. I can't quite remember. It wasn't like the top three. It was up there. It was way we up there. We ran out of quick. Yeah, well, nobody could even get them for a, a yep. minute there. But yeah, that was a, a wild, wild, <laughs> wild ride. Quantum yep. Deck took us on to the beginning of 2022. And uh, we're proud to have it at the in the trick of the year category. Moving on to uh, the next nominee, we have Shrapnel mm. by Kim Anderson. I, so I first of all, I love this. Hosting Kim Anderson's lecture was super fun. Kim Anderson is a very very creative magician. And what you're seeing with Shrapnel is a safety pin and a ring. And the safety pin and the ring link and unlink multiple times. At the end of it, you can hand it out. Uh, it is examinable. Kim Anderson's got some uh, interesting work with the Buns of Steel gimmick, and this sort of lives in that realm. Uh, so you're switching things in and out, but it's a really clever routine. Uh, you're gonna love it. I remember when this came out, we were, again, we were in Blackpool. Yeah, and people right. were coming up and going, do you have shrapnel, do you have shrapnel, shrapnel, do you have shrapnel? And we didn't, but we did have Kim Anderson there. And he showed it to me in person and it was amazing. But also check out his Penguin Live lecture because you're gonna learn some cool does stuff. Does he talk about it on there? He does. He actually teaches uh, an alternate ending to shrapnel that, d that he came up with afterwards using the shrapnel gimmick. Uh, Just a visual great trick to do. Yeah. Uh, anybody can do it. Um, kind of over deliver on the product too. I think they give you a couple gimmicks. Yeah, they do. And they give you like the tin and like uh, yeah. it kind of comes with a ring too, right? Yeah, it comes with a ring. Like, the ring isn't gimmicked, but like it's just something that you can use. Yeah, oh, actually, take yeah. Let's it. take a look at it right here. This is uh, this is pretty cool. You can see everything that's going on here. Um, uh, you can see this. There's a couple shots coming yeah. up here that you guys can see. Yeah, there's there's Kim. Uh, Kim's a really smart creator from Denmark. But the man, magic there it is, right there. there. Boom. Look at that. What is that? How's that crazy. work? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, uh, this yeah. sold a lot. This yeah. lot, and it's a great, great product. Uh, really cool. And a great teacher. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna learn this, but you know, Kim Anderson uh, is the guy who has those like crazy ultra magnetic half dollars that he does cool stuff with. So you know that this is like lived in his pocket for a long time. So it's neat stuff. Shrapnel was one of the best selling tricks of 2020. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next nominee. Uh, so we're gonna be moving on to oh Sonata. Mm. By, well. Uh, Juan, Juan Tam Tamares? Tamares? No. Uh, this is the book that sort of everyone's been waiting for because you couldn't get this for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I had a, a, a first edition copy that I've had for a long time and really enjoyed reading. But one of the interesting things is there's a, an additional booklet that he put out called The Symbolic, uh, Symbologic Magic which is a sort of shorthand that Juan created inside of this book to be able to write things down. And it's been very difficult to get. And now you actually get Sonata along with this symbolic logic uh, uh, pamphlet. But this has got all kinds of stuff. This is Juan's first book that really introduced him to the world. Yeah. When we, we, just, we just put this back out yeah. about a month ago. And it just 
everybody bought it. It's also everybody bought it. It's, so it's been updated. Uh, there's a it's a slightly new translation. Uh, there's some some punctuation and grammatical errors and a few things that got left out. That yeah, were updated. Yeah, we worked with, with Raphael Benatar. I believe right? it was Raphael yeah, Benatar that was wor working with directly with Juan to make sure that it was all mm -hmm. touched up and ready to go for 2022 yep. into uh, the brave new world here. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it's hard to uh, it's hard to deny. Yeah, Sonata. When it's like when when everybody out there is like, no, we this is what we want. Yep, it was up there. So uh, let's take a look at the, why it is in our top ten. Let's take a look at the next nominee here, uh, which is Vanishing Card. We've already talked about it a little bit. Yeah, talk about it a little bit more. Uh, you know, it was again set the world on fire well, when this came out. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm glad. Every, th this was one of the most popular tricks mm -hmm. last year. It sold a lot and. But it's it's almost like a modern classic at this point. Yeah. It's like a weird like, and uh, when it comes to like the history of Instagram magic, mm -hmm. like this is one of like the this is like a cornerstone moment when Nicholas mm -hmm. Lawrence dropped this on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. Like every, this this thing caused waves for so long. Yeah. So I'm glad to see that people like actually picked it up when it came out. Yeah. You know, because uh, yeah. it was one of the top selling tricks this year. Yeah. Uh, let's move next up on the list because we we talked about uh, some of these already. But uh, chop, chop, let's, we haven't really talked about. We haven't talked about chop at all. And so this is another one of the Craig Petty ones. So if you're unfamiliar with this, borrow a dollar bill, have it signed, crumple it up. Uh, you put it underneath a, a cup. This can be a coffee cup. It could be a paper cup, plastic cup, uh, whatever you want. Uh, the ball vanishes, appears, disappears, uh, jumps to your pocket, jumps back underneath the cup. So at the very end, a lemon appears underneath the cup, and then you cut open the lemon, and inside is that signed <laughs> bill. If you learn tr chop and show it, show it to somebody, yep. there's no better trick you can show them. No. It's the best trick they'll ever see in their life. Mm -hmm. Like, if especially if you're at the bar and you make like a lemon come out of that cup and yeah. then you cut the lemon open and the bills and like, it's destruction. Yeah. In a sharpie. No. Right. Like. And the thing is too is that uh, this sort of goes. This is a little bit the same with Keymaster, but like, this is Craig's thousand timer. Yeah. Craig yeah. does this all the time. All the time. And he's come up with all kinds of new additional things you can do with. The chop gimmick. Yeah, you're gonna hate and love the simplicity of it. Yeah. It, it, it. It'll piss you off, honestly. The, I think the, there's some cool stuff he does with this using uh, mystery cards. So he's got oh, like yeah, yeah. he's got a thing where he like folds up a playing card. He doesn't let you see it. He holds it up and he puts it uh, in the cup, but he puts it up over here. And then he has somebody like take the car, uh, take a card from a deck, sign it, uh, lose it in the deck. They can shuffle it, do whatever. And then he goes, "Hey, remember the cup?" And he pours out the. Uh, the cup and the card that's been in the cup from the very beginning, folded up in the very beginning, is your, your signed card. Yeah. There's some fun stuff he does with a clear cup as yeah. well, which is really neat. Yeah, he's got all the moves with clear cup, which yeah. is wild. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's so good. I was glad when it got re-released here that, like, everybody was excited to do it again. I mean, there's probably a lot of people that have never seen it before. Oh, yeah. I, I only knew about it because I used to watch... Was your product review way back in the day? It's how I first learned about it, mm -hmm. and um, it was killer. You yeah. know, I was like, man, I never put the work in on it. I wish yeah. I did. Uh, I wish I. It's too good. It's too much, now I do it. It's too much stuff. Yeah, I could have been doing it ten years ago. Uh, Chop, one of the best selling tricks of 2022. Yeah. Not a question. Wish we. A lot of people bought Chop last year. I wish we could do all of these tricks all of the time. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next nominee. Speaking of a trick a lot of people bought last year. We talked about this. Uh, so I was talking about, I got a, so I, I'm a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians. I talk to other sort of ring presidents all the time. And I was talking to my buddy Tom Borjahan, who puts on the Winter Carnival of Magic convention. Uh, and he's down there in Sarasota involved with their IBM ring. And the guys in his ring and the, guy in my, the guys in my ring are all excited about Flip. He, but Tom and I were talking about like how interesting this is. Uh, not only methodologically wise, but like he put it out as an individual thing and people liked it and then we put it out again with all kinds of additional information and people even liked it even more it's really really well thought out routine Wes has done this a lot I, we've already talked about it a bit but it's just it's an incredible piece of magic and you can do this on stage like this is great close up but you can do you can fill a theater with this <laughs> which is it's nuts that you can entertain I mean you could do an arena with this with just a half dollar yeah I, it's 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 like mm -hmm. it's so simple and good. Yeah. Like, I know. How, I think I, that's why everybody. I mean, yeah. it's just like when you watch this video. It, nah. Yeah. It's a superpower, right? Mm -hmm. That's something that everybody wants to be able to do. Yeah. Call Control a coin flip. flip. And uh, a lot of you 
bought it. Yep. So it's it is in the top ten. Uh, this was like like one of the, the big two. One of the biggest think, tricks of the year. Yeah, I, it yeah. was like way up there. Way I, way. Up I think there. this arguably more people bought this than any other trick. Yeah, I can't quite remember, but it, yeah. it, it it I think so. Thousands of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. After flip, we have Keymaster by Craig Petty. That brings us to we we went. Did all we already talk about? No, we no, no, no. It was just we, we have talked about Keymaster before. Yeah, we just Key, we did, yeah. Keymaster again nominated for the trick of the year. Let's move on. We've talked about Keymaster enough, I think. <laughs> well, I feel like we've talked about it a lot because of. I mean, we only well, talked about we it. We gave it here. away. We gave it away. It was a P three trick of the yeah. year. But um, I feel like it, we talked about it one other time. But uh, we talked not. about it when Inventor of the Year. Oh right. Yeah. So, Craig, we're done talking about Craig. your tricks. Are, but are we talk, done talking about Craig? I think no, we're not done talking about Craig because Craig's going to show up in here again. Uh, is he? uh, laced up. We talked about laced up. Another huge trick this year. Yeah, I'm glad to see it make it. Yeah, um, it was one of those that like I would I thought this would get nominated for trick of the year when it came out. I knew people. Well, were, it's just would, it had to be based on sales, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, this turned out to be one of the best selling things of the year yeah. in just a very short period of time. Yeah. So. Um, and here it is. Mm -hmm. I know people are excited to have this. I I've seen this. So it was uh, Tyler Lunsford. Yep. He had this. Uh, if yeah, this at the top of his list. At the top of his list. I've seen a few lists out there on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I think it was was it on Orthodox's list? I think it might have been. I think on it Orthodox's was. List. I can't remember if it was number I one. I haven't or seen not. all the lists yet, but I saw Tyler's and I saw Craig's. I watched Magic's, but I I'm, I'm, I'm actually, mm -hmm. can't quite remember everything that was on that list. And after laced up, I think we should have. Orphic Plus. That's why we're going to see Craig. Oh, again. yeah. Craig, Craig's, Craig's just, on here. He's too. in the yeah, he's in the video, too. Uh, so, Orphic Plus, we haven't talked about this one yet. No. Cool wallet. Everybody was ecstatic about this. Yeah. Um, you know, this was probably, I guess, the wallet of the year, mm -hmm. right? Not that that's a category, but it probably could be. Could be. Uh, so, this does three things it's a it's peak, it's a switch, and it's you can also load. Yeah into it. And there's two different ones. There's Orphic and Orphic Plus. Mm -hmm. The only difference between the two is that Orphic Plus was like a centimeter wider yeah. for like playing card workers. Mm -hmm. If you just do mentalism stuff, you could just get Orphic. Yeah. I, I think these are probably even sold out everywhere. I can't mm -hmm. remember if this is even in stock anymore. It was like flew off the shelves yeah. when this came out because it came out early in 2022. Mm -hmm. And um, I think they just sold. I don't know if they've yeah. restocked or not, but um, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm seeing in the chat here that uh, it's it's out of stock. There's just there's just the ch there's a wall in the chat. Please restock Orphic Plus. Please restock Orphic Plus. We want to. Yeah. Tell, yell at the 1914. Yeah, we, our we, buddy we, D. Christopher yeah. and Louis Laval over there. Yeah. Like, I, tell I, them to I don't get know. more. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're just like stocking up for for Blackpool, and yeah. then they'll re restock after that or something. But it, it's a cool looking wallet. Uh, it does some cool stuff. No, it's it's awesome. It, yeah. it, it's really it's really nice. Um, you know, you know what I also think this represents is a move from because there was there was a move towards the minimalist wallets like go more minimal, go more minimal, go more minimal, and this is sort of like a move backwards. Yeah, where it's like hey, you don't have to have like the full hip pocket style, but you know you can you can be choosy about how big it is. Yeah. And weirdly, I guess maybe they they wouldn't have thought mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought D. Christopher would become in like the wallet guy world. Yeah. But like they've done a lot of work in the wallet section, so they're really starting to figure it out. Yeah. And Lewis used to make jewelry, mm -hmm. so like the, the two guys combined there are like really making excellent stuff. Yeah. Um, also the ESP deck that they make there. I can't remember the name of it. It's oh, amazing. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. It's, it's the one that you can read from across the room. Yeah, that one's awesome, uh, too. The Eclipse. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so the good. Eclipse deck. Uh, so Orphic Plus, one or Orphic, one of the, uh, it doesn't matter which one. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't keep them in stock this no, year. Not you all. guys loved Orphic, and so did we, which is why it is in the top 10 tricks of the year. And I think uh, that would bring it right around to, uh, that's the end. I think Orphic Plus was, was the that last one. Was that the last one? Yep, we'd, oh, because we kicked oh, yeah. off we already talked about, about past, all. present, future. Well, that's it. Uh, those were all the nominees. Congratulations to everybody in Deck of the Year, Partner of the Year, Lecture yeah. of the Year, Download of the Year, Invention so of the Year. Let's see. Craig Petty. Petty. Craig Petty with Quantum Deck, I think Chop, Keymaster. Yeah. He's in Inventor of the Year. He's in Lecture of the yeah. Year. So he's kind of like all over the place here. Also, um, Kyle, uh, Purnell, Kyle Purnell. Making a pretty strong. Brainchild and Inventor. Mm -hmm. Of the year, uh, Danny D'Artiz is in a couple of places because yep. he's in partner uh, and he's in inventor. Mm -hmm. um, Same with Roddy yeah. and Sticker Kicker. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. 
it, it's the it's nice to see some of these names here. Yeah. Well, but, I, we've probably do some picks. Right? Yeah. Let's do the picks. We already did deck of the year, so yeah, Eric so and I will give you I got, what I, we think. I got to continue. On deck By the way, the voting will start when this uh, when the stream is over. Yeah. I think there may be. I think the link is already leaked out. Okay. I see probably. some people in the live chat saying that they've uh, they've already voted. Now, okay. Nick and I are going to do our picks. This does not means nothing. Means absolutely nothing because the voting is all up to you. We tally up all the votes that all come in, uh, and believe me, some of these creators like Spidey. Spidey made a hard campaign last year to win Twick of the Year, and he did, and he won it. And, mm. uh, and I, I, I see, I think, like, what do I think should win, or what is going to win? Sure, I, yeah, I guess maybe you give both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I so so for Deck of the Year, you voted. I vote Continuum. Yeah, uh, I, and I voted the Butterfly. Yeah, but I see the Butterfly winning. Yeah, I could see yeah. Butterfly winning that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll see. That'd be my yeah. guess. Partner, Partner Trick Partner of the Year. year. What do you got? Uh, I, for me, for my money, uh, I think semi-automatic weapons was the partner trick of the year. Mm -hmm. Just because that, that whole thing is, is unbelievable. But this is Dr. Cyril Thomas's category. He makes the rules over there. That is true. That is true. Dr. Cyril does make the rules in this category. Uh, It'll be, somebody has to take him down. Um, For me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote billets for the modern mind reader. I yeah. was so impressed with yeah. that project um, for somebody that's just out there putting together that stuff, Julian. Yeah. Um, fantastic thing. I think, I think Danny might win this yeah. just because of the sheer popularity that he yeah. obtained this year uh, through Fool Us. I think, I think Semi uh, will win as well, but I think Billets has a strong case to be made because I, it's very good. Yeah, and shout out to Sudden Box as mm. well. I really think that's a cool trick. Lecture of the year? Mm. Okay. I think Spidey is going to win it, mm-hmm. right? Sp- Sp- I think I think Spidey has it on lock. Yeah, I I really do think though. If if I was voting, I got I got to go. With, you got to vote for somebody. I think I'm voting Ben Barnes. Ben Barnes. Yeah, uh, and, and I'll tell you why is his work on the. Pen, uh, uh, dropsy the, diddle? The, the, no, not dropsy diddle. Oh, the pen, the, thing. Pen, the, pencil pen, thing. the pencil thing, the pencil card, is really, really good. Um, I think I'm voting Ben Barnes. Yeah. Uh, it's it, because that, I have been that, like, yeah, I'm like torn between Spidey and Bill. Yeah, because Bills, I like, I want to do Bills as well, but I feel like I'm gonna use some stuff from Ben's more than I will from Bills. Yeah. Even yeah. though Bills is so good, because they're both like both of those lectures are full of like the real work from people who really work yeah it's like i might even vote just for craig petty and then (laughs) and then i think like either bill or spidey i like i think that's bill or spidey in that category i yeah i I think um download of the year is flip Uh, flip yeah Uh, it's going to be flip yeah i can see that i would vote for stick and twisted because Mm -hmm. it's one of the more innovative uh, of the downloads that I've seen in a long time, mm-hmm. it's really it's a really cool trick. Well, I don't know. I, so, but I like, think Flip's got it. I think six greatest card tricks in the history of the world mm-hmm. could could win this category. It could. Um, it's a str- I mean, it mm-hmm. wasn't in our. I, I mean, everybody had to have gotten it right, yeah. and the quality of material is great. I'm probably going to vote for that one. Okay. Um, but yeah, maybe Flip wins. But I think I'm going to vote for six greatest card tricks. Inventor of the year. God, I hate. This oh, is like it's good. It's. I think it's going to be Craig. I think Craig is going to take this one. Yeah, I think I almost have to. Yeah, I but think. I, I. It's as far as my vote, it's a toss up for me between Kyle and Nicholas. So because, the previous winners are Kyle last year yeah. and Adrian Lacroix. Lacroix, LaCroix yeah. won it in 2020. But I can also see Kyle running away with it again because when you look when you yeah. look at the whole of everything yeah. that Kyle has created, it's so innovative. Yeah. Not that Craig's stuff isn't innovative, but Kyle's stuff is just like so impressive. But I think Craig's going to win it. I think I'm voting for Craig and Craig will win. Yeah. I think that's what's going to happen there. P3 trick of the year? So... Um, I, it's laced up. Yeah. If laced up is going to win, yeah, and I'm voting for laced up. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm voting for. See, I'm torn between sticker kicker and brainchild. Mm-hmm. Those would be the two that I would vote for. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's hard to think that laced up isn't going to win that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, trick of the year. Trick of the year. My vote. And I guess I'm biased. Yeah. It's probably going past, present, future. Mm-hmm. I had too much fun working on it. Yeah. And 
if I was to perform any of these tricks, I think it's the strongest trick, mm -hmm. even more than laced up, um, just because you can get tears and screams yep. from, <laughs> from past, present, future. For me, trick of the year, Simon Cornell's one link card <laughs> fism yeah, is right. the trick of the year. We didn't but, put that out though. Yeah, no, we maybe twenty twenty three. Um, um, no, uh, trick of the year. I think um, I, I will say I'll, I'm voting past, present, future. Yeah. And laced up wins. I think laced up wins, um, but I think I'm going to vote for vanishing card because I think it was one of the most innovative tricks of the year Oh, and, and uh, of the decade, uh, arguably. Yeah. If I, there was trick of the decade, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's. On I there. think for me, I have to vote vanishing card because it's the. I've only ever seen one other vanish from the bottom up. There's an old Andre Cole illusion of the vanishing uh, Statue of Liberty where it vanishes from the bottom up. It's the first time I've ever seen anything vanish from the bottom up in close up. Yeah, it's so um, good. And the, the way it works is just un unbelievable. Well, there you have it. Uh, congrats to everybody that was nominated. Um, we now have the ridiculous job of putting this whole thing together. Yeah. Uh, you could argue that this was already been ridiculous if you could see our last 48 hours. Yeah. But um, it's worth it. Um, and uh, I think we'll have some more surprises coming your way when the awards show happens. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, maybe some uh, some surprises for these people yeah. as well. Let us uh, let us know your picks in the in the, oh, uh, yeah. the chat and the comments below. And vote. Make sure to hit that uh, uh, like button, ring that bell, so you'll be notified when we go live. Uh, and don't we forget to want to see the subscribe. votes yeah. go up. Like they were at a certain level in 2020, yeah. 2021, they got bigger. This year, obviously, we want more votes than ever. The link to vote is going to be dropped in the chat below. It's also going to be on our Facebook and our Instagram. And you know what? You can help your favorite creators by copying that link and spreading it around, making sure you get all of your friends to vote. We love seeing the campaigns for the tricks of the year in the different categories and the different lectures and creators. Yeah, and I, we should mention too that yeah. the, a lot of the product art mm -hmm. that is um, associated with all these tricks mm -hmm. uh, is in the process of getting updated. Yeah. So, like, if you if you are um, I don't know, let's go with Rizky Nanda, mm -hmm. the torn teleport image is going to change with any, like a nice little nominee, mm -hmm. like nominated for download of the year yeah. type of thing. So um, if you want to share some stuff, <clears throat> those would be nice images to share. We're also going to whip some up for Inventor of the Year. Those aren't quite mm -hmm. done yet, but we will have those shortly. Yeah. And uh, be sure to come back uh, and check us out on YouTube on January 25th. 7th. Sorry, 27th. Yeah. Uh, January 27th is when the award show will air. We look forward to having you here. Yeah, I think we'll be at uh, Magic, Magic Fest. Fest when that airs, which will be kind of fun. Yeah, so Should we have like a watch? No, I don't want to watch it again. I'll have to edit the whole damn thing and then watch it. Maybe we'll do a watch maybe, party. Maybe we'll do a watch, watch party. party. Here at the theater? That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're coming to Magic Fest, maybe we can do that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Why not? It'll be, it'll be a good time. Uh, thank you so much. Also, be sure to, uh, well, we already said the like, the follow, subscribe. Uh, but we'll see you when all this airs for now. Congratulations to everyone. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.